We sh the goal for this one should be rags to riches. We have to make a billion dollars. Farm, farm your ass off. Okay. I'm pleased to um, share with you the fact that I've installed these mods so far. Okay. I, mean, I said like 10 mods. It looks like maybe six and two of them are maps. A million bucks. A billion bucks. Can you make a billion bucks in this game? Or does it only go up to like uh, 999 million, 999,000? Is it? Or can you do the, the billion dollar DLC? I need 30 more mods. What mods am I missing? I got Precision Farming, um, the Agi Pack, Liftable Pallets and Big Bags, which I think is going to be pretty good. No Man's Land, Tension Belt Support. No Man's Land is the map that we're going to play on. Court Farm looks really nice, but we probably won't play on it for this one. We'll try No Man's Land first. No Man's Land is just a big, empty map. When I say empty, it looks like it's just this beautiful field with trees and bushes and stuff, but nothing. There's no town, nothing. It's just, it's just you in the wilderness. That's why we're going to do rags to riches on it. Because it's a, it, when I looked at it, it reminded me of that part from uh, Buster Scruggs. You know, the guy, the pan, the, the guy who was doing the, um, the gold um, panning. He's just in that beautiful valley all by himself. And he's digging holes and stuff. That's what I want to do. But I mean, we won't just do that though. But okay, are there some other must have mods? DLC I'm not too worried about because a lot of the DLC, like, machines and stuff, we can just get mods, right? We don't have to get the DLC. The Agi pack was free, and uh, so was the precision farming thing, right? I'm just going to do this solo. I'm not going to do a server. Yeah, I don't need neighbors. i got plants to talk to. It'll start with one potato. Grass and silage is the best way to make money with no money? Okay. No automation mods, no place anywhere i don't know if i need it maybe we can add that after though where's what about the shovel one there's one for a shovel right beehives you get beehives in the game though right i think a shovel could be useful to start with because we're not going to have anything we won't have any money or anything right and what about a what about one of these a brush cutter or can you get like a push lawnmower is there a push lawnmower somewhere I don't have the Lamborghini tractor mod, no. What uh what are the uh what are the starting conditions on No Man's Land? Do you get anything? Cuz we'll probably need some, like realistically something, right? We can't just start with our bare hands. Look at this fruit greenhouse. Oh my god, look at the size of this thing. Can you get an old a rusty old scythe? Or is there like a um, – you can't do anything with like uh, like a horse pulling a plow or anything like that either, right? There's none of that in this. Or is there recommended mods? Manual planter. Here you go. What's this thing? Great option for you that is starting your farm with low-value machineries. With it, you can plant maize, sunflower, soybean, sugar beet, and cotton. It costs 200 bucks. You can actually, look what you can do with this thing. You want to see some better screenshots? Holy shit. Come on. This has to be the start of rags to riches, right? It only costs 200 bucks. Okay, I'm installing it. Polish fertilizer pallets? No, we don't need those. There's an open air garden. There's a huge foil tunnel. Look at this huge foil tunnel. It costs 5000 bucks though. This might be a good option, though, right? I don't know if we need it, though. I don't know if the weather is, like, super simulated that way, you know? One horsepower, yeah. Uh, is there a wall-mounted pressure washer? I know, I know. 
a cellular antenna. There, do you know what I, I uh, noticed as well? Okay, check this out. If you go into best, no, sorry. If you go into DLC, downloads, updates, installed, best, most downloaded. No, if you go into mod hub and you go into, I think it's package. If you remember a long time ago, when we were playing this game, I said, holy crap, wouldn't it be so cool if somebody made a mod that was like a central warehouse that you could just, instead of having to do all of the annoying lifting pallets and, and stuff, you could just take it to a warehouse and you could employ workers that just work the warehouse and you could drop stuff off and go pick it up and they'll just sort it all out for you. There's a couple of them. There is a couple of them and some of them look really good. I don't know if it's in packages, though. <clears throat> it might be in gameplay. They're expensive, though. I mean, it's not something we could get straight away. I don't think you can get little stalls to sell produce, no. I think um, I don't think you can do that. I don't even know how you buy stuff on No Man's Land. It, we, it might take us a couple of goes to get used to it. Okay, maybe it is gameplay, then. Um, is it? No, it's not. Oh, shit, where were they? We'll have to find them. Uh, we don't have to download it straight away, but we can download it after, right? Should we get the shovel just in case? It's $26. Okay, shovel, manual planter, brush cutter is 80 bucks. Okay, let's get this as well. There's a mobile traffic light if we would ever need one of those. Placeable decorations... The chainsaw you can buy anyway, right? Tension belt support I got because I think it'd be pretty good. Um, old shed with workshop. Do we need uh, no man's land? Do we need to buy like a tent or something? Oh, diesel container might be really good too, right? 25 bucks. We can, we can bring fuel around with us. A mobile fuel tank. There's a mod for a tiny stall, and you remember using it? You want me to press X to show all mods? Spawn pallet stacked. There's a farming simulator 22 global market. Dynamic field price. Some of this stuff is crazy. Dashboard live. Course play. Course play is one that people keep uh, recommending as well, right? They, they love that. Best. Show all mods. Fertilizers from Pulawi, Pulavi, Pulavi. Show cross-played mods only. Show all mods. Okay, we're showing all of the best mods. Apparently, there's not that many. These are the very best that the game currently has to offer. South Brazil silos package <clears throat> and a barn with the chicken coop. I don't know what else I need. Most downloaded. Showing all mods. EU factories. Brush cutter. Compos composite machine sheds. Government subsidy. There's the lizard quad bear, which we could get eventually, right? Maybe it's one of those where we're just, as we're playing, we can add mods that can, can fit with, like, what we're doing. Drone delivery, silo plate, old barn. Wall-mounted pressure washer could be kind of good later. Self-marketing? What's this? With this pack, you can open your own direct marketing. For this purpose, you can choose between sales houses of different sizes as well as vending machines. Self-marketing means fresh food for customers 24 hours a day and a clear conscience as they know where the products come from. Freshly stocked, the products are provided them by the producer without intermediate... Well, the thing is, we're in the middle of nowhere. Like, this would be fine if we lived in a town or whatever. 
a vending machine and stuff, but we're in, we're alone in the middle of nowhere. So it makes sense that we would be loading up bulk and selling it, right? It's a cool idea, but we don't need it for this one, you know? Cow shed with a garage. There's a nursery. Fruit greenhouse. There's not that many mods, right? Is there like uh is there is there more pages or or what? Is this just show you like the first page? Most downloaded? Multi fruit buying station. You have to look online as well. I like the interface for this though. Just downloading it straight into here. It's it's pretty good, right? Store deliveries. Open air garden. Okay. You think we have everything that we need to start with? What about like a place to live and stuff? Um, career? We can just delete these ones, right? I don't even know what's going on. Empty slot? New farmer, farm manager, or start from scratch? A real challenge. The economy is tough. Prices are low. You've already taken out hefty credit with the bank. Gameplay elements are on the most realistic setting. Which one do we want for this? Start from scratch hard? And what settings does it have? Select a map. Not Elm Creek. Not this one. Erlingrat. Court Farm Country Park. Look at this. this. is insane. Look at this one. No Man's Land. In the vast emptiness known as No Man's Land, there lies endless possibilities from the most basic of farmers to the advanced, advanced technologies of dairy, wool, and even logging. Do you have what it takes to survive the wilderness, or will you give up and move back to the city? <clears throat> I will never give up. Um, and we're going to start with all of this DLC on. Is the map got like a scenario built into it with some other stuff or is it just a map? Oh, it's just a map. So you have to download mods for all the other stuff. It's just a, a map with the with the shack and the shed. Okay. Start. All right, who are we going to be this time? <laughs> oh baby. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Very nice. Okay, what kind of clothes do we want to have? We can have... <laughs> okay, we need to we need to dress like... Probably like this, right? We're out here by ourselves. We probably have like some sort of sweater or maybe a jacket. But it wouldn't be... It wouldn't be, like, a really nice jacket, right? Like, that looks like a snowboarding jacket. Okay, we'll have a blue sweater, and then let's also have some jeans. Great. Boots? Let's get some rubber boots. We don't necessarily have to have a cowboy hat if we don't want, but maybe it's good. And our gloves? Perfect. And do we want some glasses? Hell yes. Okay, good. Confirm. You've just installed the Precision Farming mod. This mod adds more realism and aspects of real farming into Farming Simulator. We've added some new pages to the help menu to explain everything. Do you want to open them now? No. Wait. Oh, there is stuff here. I thought it was just a big field. Oh, there is like a lit. So everything you need is up here. The store, all the selling stations and stuff, I think, are here too. 
there's an animal dealer, gas station, vehicle shop, and then the rest of it is just up to you, right? We start with 500,000 bucks. Well, I think we've we've done it. 500,000 bucks is a lot of money. Even in today's economy, right? This is a true rags to riches. Another scenario complete. Unbelievable. Can you believe? We've done it. 500,000. It's all debt. Is it all debt? No, only 200,000 of it is a loan. So we have 300,000 bucks. We need to we need to actually start with nothing, right? I, I guess we need to be able to buy a field though, right? You want to just buy the field really close to here? Number 46. What is this? Cutting this signpost with a chainsaw will permanently remove all the trees from the map. Cutting this signpost with a chainsaw will permanently remove all rocks from the map. Yeah, I don't want to do either of those things. Good to know that you can do that, though. I mean, we could just buy 56, and then we'd be close to everything. But we want to get out here, right? We want to get out here into the into the into the wilderness. 33 looks like it actually has a building. Let's go over to 33. Twenty six has the house. What's the what's the building in thirty three though? Oh, thirty three is grapevines. Twenty six is the house. Okay, let me go down the road here. I'll follow the road. And maybe this is better actually that there's a road. Not that we actually have anything that we can drive down with it. So the first thing we need to do is try to pay off this loan. Okay, I see something. I don't even know how to buy um, farmland. 26. Um, this it's going to cost us 85,000 to buy this one. Let's go check it out first and then we can buy it. There's a money mod so you can remove all money after we buy a field. Is there really? That would be fun actually. Let's try that. How do I how do I get out of here? Settings? No, it's not settings. I can't. Oh, quick game. Uh, save game. Quick game. Okay, let me get that mod. Uh, downloadable content. What? What was it? Mod hub. Gameplay. Improved harvester sound script. Wardrobe plus. I saw something in here about money. Rain pain. <laughs> no thanks. I do not want rain pain. Work camera, dynamic field prices, manual wipers, clear traffic jams. No, no. Pick your start farm. Lumberjack. No need to troll events farm manager. Start from zero. Place one of the objects to start your game with zero money. A big bag of one liter stones can be bought if you don't own any land. What is included? Invisible square with no functionality can be found under building tools. Invisible square with sleep trigger can be found under buildings, farmhouses, and free chainsaws. Is this the one? Do this one. All right. Um, is there anything else that we want? 
here while we're here. Farming Simulator 2 22 invoices, wheelie. Interactive big bags. Fill type limiting. Sell price trigger. Realistic animal losses. Oh my god, man. There's so much stuff. Manual refueling. Thanks to this modification, you can refuel your machine only when you are outside and near to it. It also removes original bug when refill action is still showing, even when your source tank is empty or machine vehicle you filling is fully loaded. There's no stock market in this. No, not that I know of. Um, I mean, maybe there is. How are we going to move um, stuff to sell? We're going to have to, we're, we're realistically, we're going to need something like a, a wagon or something that we can pull or this. <laughs> Hook up your sled and have fun on winter days with your friends. <laughs> no, no, I want something I can pull. I need to be able to put my goods into something and so I can sell it. The lumberjack mod lets you pick up anything. Tent. Where was Tent. Wood storage, animal input extension, passenger extension. I didn't I didn't see a tent. There's a vehicle sleeper cab though. Get the manure mod. No no, we got we gotta stay focused here. We're not just downloading every mod. We just need to get started. We're not thinking too much about the future here. We just we, we want a mod that basically takes all our money away after we buy our first bit of land. And uh and also okay, diesel canister we have. Sleep anywhere. Allows the player to sleep on foot anywhere. We need somewhere that we can live, right? Like maybe a little a little tent or something. And I need a, like a wagon or, or something, something cheap, like a wooden wagon that I can pull. Or something that, um, you know, like a horse could pull or something. Space to search. Ah. Okay, there's no tent. Uh, an auger wagon with lime. Variable forage wagon capacity and fill level warning forage wagons. Okay, there's no wagon. Manual, discharge, refueling, attach, and wipers. Okay, no. I am looking in gameplay, though. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong places. Daily deductions. Sledge. Okay, so... We need to come out of here and go into decoration, greenhouses, selling points, farmhouses, maybe? Ah, tent. Okay, this tent costs 2000 bucks though. That's a lot for a tent. That is, that is a lot for one tent. Where do you, where's all mods? A tent at Kmart is like 50 bucks, yeah. The Hobo Farmhouse. Hobo. Hobo's Hollow Hobo Farmhouse Pack. Tiny house as farmhouse for poor farmers. Did you spend all your money for equipment and farmland? There's nothing left for a farmhouse? Then you need this Hobo Farmhouse Pack. Here you can find accommodation options like a simple bench, a doormat, a tent, and a tiny house. The tiny house is a thousand euros, the tent is fifty, the bench is fifty, and the doormat's fifty. Sounds good. Okay. What next? What else do we need? A wagon. We need like a we need like a one that you can pull. A pullable wagon. I don't think there is one. Like a crappy 
wooden wagon or something like that. Or a wheelbarrow. Yeah, that could be good too. Wheelbarrows. Wheelbarrows are used to transport bulk materials and various objects. They are indispensable for many garden, construction, and agricultural jobs. They will help you to move things around the farm easily and quickly. Okay. Electric vehicle sounds have been muted. <laughs> okay, look at this. There's 150 bucks. For 200 bucks, you get 500 liters with color configurations. Okay. Okay, great. And um, what else do we need? We got. We can buy the tent. We can buy uh, the thing, and then lumberjack. We don't need lumberjack. Stay focused, chat. Let's mod add some quality of life improvements to making clearing trees with the chainsaw a little bit easier. Okay, this is not focused, chat. We don't need any of this stuff right now. I'm not doing any lumbering. Well, if I do, we'll get it later. We don't need it right now. We just need stuff to start with. We, we will be installing thousands of mods throughout this, I'm sure. There's always there's going to be something that's going to come up that we need. But for now, no. We're going to clear the lots with a wheelbarrow to start with. We got a, we got a hand plow to start with as well. We've got the wheelbarrow we can we can transport stuff to our lot as well, right? Hand. There's a hand saw, there's a hand lawn mower. Yes. Hand plant hand plant saplings. Precision hands. Robert handling pack. A hand crafted plow. Okay, 200 bucks for a handsaw. Okay, let's install that too. Push. Push round bales. That could be really good actually. We might need to push round bales, right? Okay, anything else for now? We don't really need anything else for now, right? Just It's just us. It's just us in the wilderness. Okay, career. Continue. Okay, start from zero. Wheelbarrows. Hobo farmhouse pack. Handsaw. Hand lawn mower. Looking good. Looking good. Manual planter. All right, so some of this stuff, we're going to buy a bunch of this stuff to start with. And then we're going to go and buy a plot of land. And then we'll place the thing to get rid of all of our money. Toggle our map view. Wow. Okay, we're in 56. Where are we? What are we gonna buy? Realistically, we're buying 46, right? Just down the road. And we also need to buy some of this stuff too. What's this place? Sell wood? No. Where's the shop? Aha. Let me in. Open vehicle options. No.
open the shop menu. All right. So we want bales, grain. We don't need any grain to start with. We might need a little bit of grain to start with, actually. I'm lying. Um, okay, let's buy a shovel for 26 bucks. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Um, we're going to buy a handsaw. We're going to buy um, one diesel canister. The manual planter. And a wheelbarrow. We, we need some way to cut grass too, right? So probably the brush cutter to start with because it's 80 bucks. Okay, anything else that we need to start with? No, I don't think so. Owned items, perfect. Uh, we need some seeds, right? We'll need to get some, some sort of seeds to get started. What makes uh, what makes sense for us to grow first? Potatoes, probably, right? Wait, we need a we need special harvesting equipment for potatoes. We need to buy the start from zero thing. Free chainsaws, apparently, you can get as well, and a a big bag start from zero. So the big bag is what will drain us of all of our money. No, no, we're not we don't need to plant anything. We just need to cut grass to start with. And uh we're just going to cut cut grass and sell grass. I don't think you can harvest a potato with a shovel. So we buy this so we need to buy our field first, right? We're going to buy 46. The value is 85,000. How am I going to put the grass in the wheelbarrow with a shovel? 26 is nicer. It's so far away though. Let's let's work our way up to twenty six, okay? We're gonna oh yeah, we need to buy our tent as well. No, I don't wanna be far from the shop for max max challenge. I don't need that. I'm buying this land. Okay, forty six is now ours. We own forty six. Um what else did I just say that I needed? Oh the tent. Where do I buy the tent? I gotta place it on the land first, right? Okay, here's all my crap. Just gotta start the engine first. Alright, let me just put this in here. Let me just put this manual planter in here too. Put my shovel. How do you start the engine? Let's go. Taking this stuff down to the lot. This is the true this is the true rags to riches experience. You're going to see something incredible happen here over the course of many years. We're gonna build up we're gonna build up such an incredible operation and we're gonna we're gonna make a billion dollars in this game. No no, not even with four hundred thousand euros. Those four hundred thousand euros are 
are off the table. We're going to be getting rid of these 400,000 euros in a minute. What happens if you press B now to turn on the wheelbarrow? It's on. We can we can toggle cruise control. Hey, look, hands free. I don't even need to press the button now. That's incredible. Oh yeah, I gotta repay my debts first, right? Because we 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 don't have any debts. It, it, it's like the, this is like the Stardew Valley start, right? Except it's more like uh, the, this, is like the Wild West start. We've arrived from the East Coast with uh, our 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 grandpappy died. Our grandpappy died and left us his um, his small gardening business, which uh, was in so much debt that we couldn't afford to keep it running, but. We managed to skip town with uh, some of his favorite tools that he used for his gardening business. And now we have to set up, we've got to start a new life. His lucky wheelbarrow, yeah. Oh yeah, that's, that's a lot more realistic, right? The, with the better camera. Here we go. We're off to make our first billion. This is how Elon Musk did it, you know. And Jeff Bezos as well. Who else is a billionaire? Probably Bill Gates. Okay. We're in our own land now. Okay. Let's uh, stop the engine of the wheelbarrow. Incredible. This is how the the West was won. For all of you Americans watching right now. This is how it happened. Yeah, I can buy a bicycle. I should buy a bicycle, actually. Um, I think there is a bicycle mod. But you know what? I'm not going to buy the bicycle to start with. It'll be something that we save up for, okay? Wheelbarrow's heavy. Um, oh, how do I go into... Um, what's this? Precision farming, active workers, crop calendar, weather... Prices, vehicles, finances, animals, contracts, production chains, statistics, game settings, general settings, keyboard controls, help. How do I buy this tent? Where do I buy it from? Shift P. Oh, Shift P lets you buy the, the, uh, the stuff, right? So we want, was it decoration? Buildings. Where's the hobo farming pack? Landscaping? Decoration, maybe? Animals? Production? Oh, I didn't see it. Buildings, farm... Oh, there's m more menus underneath. Big garage. Farm barn. There's a hay shed. There's a shelter without front. Cost five thousand bucks. A farm barn. Aha! Tent. Um place item. We can rotate it around. Perfect. Um, start from zero. A hundred thousand. What's this? 
Oh, this is start from zero, but it just gives you 100,000 bucks? These things? Yeah, this is a great tent. Really nice. We can uh, we can save up for this bad boy. Look at this one. Can you imagine after we've done all this manual work that we could buy? Look at this. <sighs> Once we get this, then we can start listening to Schlager, right? It'll probably be this realistically. This is a thousand bucks for the little the little one. Oh, you place those down to remove the money. It's just a, a, I see, I see, I see. Okay, perfect. So when we're ready, we'll place this down. Um, I think we're almost ready. I don't think there's much else that we need to start with, right? I don't think. Should we buy the $5 sleep doormat? Or should we just use the tent? Pay the debt off. Okay. I'll pay the debt off first. That's a good idea. Finances. Uh, repay. Okay. I've paid the debt off. All of it. You have to earn your 10? Really? Okay, fine. Let me sell this then. We can always buy it later, right? Can we start with the doormat at least? Or not, not even? These are the only things we can start with. A diesel can, a manual planter, a wheelbarrow, and uh, what do we have? Uh, a, we got a strimmer as well. I've got my streamer already. You think we need the the mat at least? It's only five bucks, right? So that we can sleep if we need to on the mat. This is a nice little farmhouse as well. Look at this one. This one's only ten grand. All right, fine. How do I get rid of this 14,238 bucks? I don't have enough money to buy these things now. Take a loan to get you to 100k and then place another. I don't want to have an lo outstanding loan though. I paid off all the debt. Spend it on seeds. I think uh I think there's an option to buy stuff in here too, right? Oh, this is just a free big bag of crushed stones. Total price is a hundred grand. I don't know how to get rid of this last bit of money. New farmer, farm manager, start from scratch. 10,000. Oh, I see. Okay, how do I get rid of 4,238 uh, bucks? The tent costs 2k and sells for 25. Donate it. Or landscape the rest of the money away. All right. So landscaping we could we could just flatten everything. That's always fun. Are these things going to stay here forever? As a reminder of the time that I spent all that uh, money. What if I buy um, 
like somebody said, what if I spend, what if I buy this and, and sell it a couple of times? Oh, it sells for a thousand again. Okay. Painting? Grass? Okay, that's not costing any money. Because it's grass already, I guess. Okay, this is now costing money. So we can just keep doing this until we run out of out of cash. It's going to take a little while. <laughs> I know, I can't get rid of this money. What if I buy um, a fence for 2000 bucks and then I sell it? Oops. Can I not sell that? Um, tools? Landscaping? Is it there forever now? Come on, it can't be. How do you get rid of this? Demolish on the right. Where is the demolish? I don't even see demolish. Oh, demolish. Ha ha. Okay. Oh, this is good. 336 bucks. Okay. I got 48 bucks left. What can I buy for like 10 bucks? And then demolish. Nothing. Oh, yeah, now I can use the paint, of course, of course. Okay, let me get some animal mud painted on here. I won't be able to, to turn it back all into grass. I don't have enough money, so we're going to have to live with some animal mud on the lot. Perfect. Okay, we have minus one dollar now. Even better. Okay, this has a whole bunch of stones in it. It is going to take a long time to get this thing back to the... to the yard, by the way. Can you get a couple of honks? There's no honk available on this one. Does it use fuel? Yes, it does. It's all right. We got a diesel can. I don't think it uses fuel when it's just like uh, like idle like this. But I can't. I can't move it um, when the engine is... Like, I can't walk with it now, so I have to turn on the engine. We just got to get out to, like, where the tent is, and then uh, we're good.
No, I don't need a harness. I got my blue sweater on. It's fine. Yeah, where the tent was. I can see it. Look, I can see it in the distance. We're approaching our... Where are my safety glasses? Good question. I've got them on all the fucking time. Where are my safety glasses? Where do you think I am? Some sort of amateur? I've... Man, we are going to cut so much grass. You think this grass is ready to go? Pretty much, right? And it'll grow back, too. You think the grass has already grown four inches? I hope we can pick up the grass with a shovel. We might need to download another mod if we can't. We're going to need to get a shed to store all of our tools in. Alongside somewhere to sleep. I think the first 50 bucks will be to buy the tent, right? We'll have to get it. I've got manual plant planting already. i got the manual planter. It's this thing here on the pallet. All right. Are you ready? This is how the this is how the the empire starts. What a machine. What an incredible machine. Very difficult to reverse this thing, but you know what? It's fine. How much fresh grass do you think we've mowed already? You think there's about 200 liters of this stuff? Maybe one bucket full? Huh. Interesting. Okay, fuel consumption levels are looking pretty good. Hell yeah. I'm going to sell the ground. I'm going to try to smoke it first and then probably sell it. Okay. Um, whoops. Just gotta park this thing over here. Let's see how much grass we've got here. I'm just gonna leave this in the field. I'll put this here so I don't lose it, even though it is orange. <coughs> this thing is apparently, um... Diesel powered. Please start the engine. No need. Okay. Good. I guess it just always has a pallet.
Nice. Oops. You can, you can throw it on my grass. <laughs> Where's it all going? It moves it around, but it does not seem to put it into the wheelbarrow. We might need to... Uh, We might... Oh! Is there a little bit in there? I know it's upside down. I can't turn it around. There's, there's no way to... I mean, I could... There you go. Look. It always falls back on itself. It always turns around. I don't think you can I don't think you can drop the uh the stuff into the wheelbarrow with this shovel. It doesn't work how I thought it would. Uh well, no, there's 34 liters of it in here. It's just not consistent. This is a bit mad. There's got to be a way to uh, to hold it and then put it in somewhere, right? Oh, oh. Middle mouse button, apparently. Now that dumped most of it onto the ground in front of the wheelbarrow. Really tough to uh to angle it. You kind of get used to it though. Okay. I mean, some went in. Look. We got a whole bunch of it in that time. Gosh, you can pick up quite a bit of the grass. I've become actually kind of a pro. All right. That's 500 liters of grass. Let's see what we can get for this. Okay, we got to go all the way to the shop. It's true. Um, finances, prices. It looks like the farm shop is buying grass 
for 42 bucks and selling it for 112 bucks. If we let it dry and turn it into hay, they'll buy it for 50 bucks instead. Uh, if we turn it into silage, 155 bucks. But I don't think I have a way of flattening it. Yeah, I think we need a tether for it to dry. You're right. I don't think you can just leave it out there to dry. But this grass, we can turn into silage straight away. Hey Anonymous, thanks for the 690. It's day 420 and I'm still here watching this dad scoop up grass from the ground with this TARDIS shovel. Please somebody send help, I can't take it anymore. What do you mean? We got 500 liters of grass in our wheelbarrow. We're about to make some... We're about to make some money! We're gonna, we're gonna make some huge money here, by the way. Are you guys ready for this? We'll probably be able to buy the tent after this, I would have thought. Or maybe, gosh, maybe even, dare I say, we'll be some way towards buying the hobo shack for a thousand bucks. Watch out for scabs and PMCs along the road. I'm dead. Head eyes. Yeah, I know, it does look very Tarkov, doesn't it? Oh, it's per thousand liters? Wait, so I have to dump this? So I'm not going to get paid for this at all? I need another wheelbarrow full for my 42 bucks? Or it'll just give me half? I'll get 21 bucks. Alright, well... Well, Rome wasn't built in a day. And at this rate... Yeah, Rome wasn't built in uh, in a million days either, but it was eventually built. It was it was eventually built. Ready? <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. 21 bucks! Heading back. Twenty one bucks is much better than zero. Exactly. How much is the property tax? That I don't know. It's no man's land, right? No man owns this land, except for me now. I'm the, I'm the only person around here who owns any land in no man's land. I don't think there's any tax. There's no debt, no tax. We're, we're living off the grid. We're living our best life out here off the grid. Now, I can't cut the grass at the shop. I don't own that land. Good thing we started this in August and not uh, in the winter, right? Now you can't you can't cut the grass with the uh, with the strimmer on land that you don't own. It won't let you. We had the error message before. If we do 50 million runs of grass, we'll make a billion? Well, there you go. 
You gotta start somewhere. We might need some antique machinery mods. I feel like I've got them all already, no? Let me just uh, rotate this thing around. Scoop up some uh, freshly cut grass. I can almost, I can smell it. I can smell this grass, by the way. Oh, it smells so good. God, that took no time at all to fill up, right? Really good. Whoops. It's like I left the engine on last time. All right, here we go. We've almost got the tent. Maybe like one more load? Okay, I've turned it on. It doesn't use any fuel, this thing. What if I saturate the grass market and the price plummets? I don't think that there's any way that that's going to happen. I'm just going to put cruise control on, actually. Sit back and pop open some water here. I think getting the wheelbarrow was... We really needed it, right? <clears throat> this would have been so hard without it. I got the handsaw. Oh, wait. Where did I put the handsaw? It must be uh, on the ground somewhere over there, right? We might be able to sell some wood. Maybe the handsaw, we could chop some wood really close to the thing. That might be a, a good way to make some quick money. Does the rate is there a radio built in? I don't know. How, what do you press for a radio? Number pad five. No, it didn't work. There's no radio. Holy shit. Man, we just started, we're already making huge cheddar cheese. You're doing great, Dad! Howdy, Farmer. It's me, Farmer Joe Jamboree, from the farm 200 miles away. Noticed that you moved in, just wanted to say if you come anywhere near my smoking hot daughter, he'll put a 12 gauge so far up your ass, you'll be shitting bullets for months. Hi there, Farmer Joe Jamboree. Um, uh, well... As you live 200 miles away, and I'm really busy making huge amounts of um, cheddar cheese for my farm, I'm not going to have time to walk all the way to your farm to check out your smoking hot daughter. But maybe uh, after a while, when I can finally afford to uh, maybe a push bike, 
or uh, some sort of uh, uh, engine-based transportation, I might come over. It's a, it's a, it's a long way. Thank you so much, Farmer Joe Jamboree, for the 10. I appreciate it. I can't pick her up in the wheelbarrow. It'll take me a lifetime to walk over there. <clears throat> and what if I get there and she's not my type? I'm a 65-year-old man, okay? What if I get there and she's not uh, blonde uh, with uh, massive breasts and 20 years old? That's my type? Um... So what happens if, uh, if that happens? I have standards, okay? Very high standards, <laughs> all things considered. Well, her death lines are hot, I suppose that. I suppose there is that, Dowie. There is that. Yeah, by the time I walk over to that farm, she'll be like 60 years old. I'll be like Yoda. The handsaw's got to be here somewhere. I must have misplaced it. I'm sure I bought it. Unless it's, uh, unless it's up at the shop still. I'm sure I put it in here. I must have uh, lost it along the way. Well, we'll have to buy another one, but we just we got bigger fish to fry right now. No, the the handsaw is not the pallet. That's the manual planter. God, there's still quite a little quite a bit in that shovel. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> Wait, is it full? Yes. No, it's not quite, actually. Gotta make sure we fill her up. Alright, now I think she's full. Let's chuck that over there. Don't worry, I left the engine running. She's ready to go. Try pressing the other five. I did. It doesn't work. I know. I Look how great the farm's already looking. It's incredible. Look at that hot air balloon up in the sky. Yeah, I'll look for this. I'll look for this all when we get to town. I'm sure it was there. Thank God that this little in the, out in the middle of nowhere. Thank thank God that this shop is here. It's my lifeline. It's like a post office for me. take out a loan no we had a loan we paid it off and then we 
donated the rest of our money to a cat shelter. Now we're just living off the land. And might I say, excelling at doing so. Because it's only been a couple of minutes and I've already made... I'm about to, I'm about to make another 20 bucks right now, by the way. <clears throat> Some people takes hours for them to make 20 bucks. You know what, people say chase your dreams. And you really show me that literally anything is possible sips. You have 2000 people watching you push a wheelbarrow back and forth to sell grass. Congratulations it's safe to say you have made it. <laughs> Thank you Ruddus. <laughs> Thanks for the 10. 21 bucks on that one by the way. 21 bucks. Oh shit yeah the saw. Hang on a second. Let me just turn this thing off. We don't want to waste any fuel. Maybe it's under here. No, it's not. Where the heck did that handsaw go? What's this? Oh, it's the animal dealer. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Just want to see what else I can buy now that I've got some money. Wow. <laughs> Oh, it's going to take a lot of grass. It's going to take a lot of grass to get that bad boy. <laughs> oh, shit. That's a lot. That is a lot. Now, it's a huge upgrade. You're right. But uh, even better than, uh, than that, we're going to need... I mean, we got the shovel, right? We're going to need something to put stuff in, right? How much can this hold? It can hold 350 kilograms. And it looks like it will take grass as well. 3,500 bucks? This has, this has to be the first thing that we get, right? We could even lease it. We could lease it. How much is it to lease? I don't have enough money. <laughs> <laughs> it's what well, it's it's three thousand five hundred bucks. So how much is it to lease, or where can I see how much it costs to lease it? Yeah, we'd need to tow it somehow. We'd have to lease a tractor too, right? It is a beauty, though. Look at that. It's got the safety sign on the back and everything. Sixteen hundred liters. Oh yeah, we could use a car for it, right? I wonder if we could lease a car. What about this thing? Eighty-three horsepower. That's eighty-three more horsepower than uh, than I currently have. Look, it looks like it has a little bit of capacity, too. It can fit 460 liters. Come on. And you can put grass right into it. This is just a better wheelbarrow. It has a slightly smaller capacity, yeah. But the thing is, you could actually tow something with this, right? 83 horsepower. We could probably tow this, right? This is a bale trailer. We can reconfigure it to be a bale trailer. It still costs just as much, though. It'll be a lot quicker to drive back and forth. Yeah, you're right. Okay. All right. Um, saving content. Okay. Hang on a second. What we do need, though, is... Wait. Do a... I don't actually need anything right now. I don't need anything. How much is it to uh, to lease that thing? We'll be able to make money faster with that, right? Okay, engine on. 
check my personal inventory for the handsaw? Oh, yeah. Maybe it's in my personal inventory. Ah, yeah, here it is. I wonder if you can just cut any old tree with this. Switch hand tool. Activate the hand tool. I'm not allowed to cut this tree, apparently. What about this one? Okay, I might have to... Should we check the price of wood? We might be able to cut up some firewood. I'm going to try it on my own land. Yeah, I am. I will. Wood. Wood chips sell for 46 how much how much does actual wood sell for though or can you not check here there is a place to sell wood though right there's got to be right i can't chip it planks okay there's no way i'm making planks right stones sell for 50 bucks i don't have a stone picker though near grass where is grass oh wood hook 992 okay we might be chopping some wood to start with well the shovel can pick up stones too nice No, I didn't want to do Lumberjack. Do, should we get the Lumberjack mod then, do you think? I don't think I can put um, tension belts on the wheelbarrow. It'll replace all the other lifting mods too, but the lumberjack one. What's the, like the the pallets and bag ones and stuff? Nah. No, I didn't read Rage Quit Sims. We we finished the uh, scenario. Johnny September managed to bring back five relics from space, and that was it. What's my step counter at? I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, let's get our saw out. Heck yeah. Okay, we can cut this one down. Let's get in here for a really precision cut. What am I doing with this grass? There's no way I need to do any of this grass stuff, right? Where'd the rest of the tree go? Holy crap. I know, it's really OP, isn't it? It's even better than the chainsaw, I think. It's a, it feels a bit like cheating. Got to take all this stuff off. Oh, my gosh. Oh, 
Oh, Penny would be so jealous. Don't tell Penny that we're doing this. Well, they seem to have fixed the uh, the wood stuff from uh, the last time we played this, at least, right? It was quite bad when we played this last, if you remember. Maybe we just drag the whole tree over. We could probably run there with dragging the tree faster than we can push the, the barrel, right? There's no wood chipper? If you can hold it. I think I can hold it. I think I know when to hold it. And I think I also know when to fold it. <clears throat> What's the button to put the belts on? T? No, can't do it. Okay, let's see. Now we can run. Let's see how much money we can make from this tree that we just cut down. 50 kilograms one hand? I know. Our, our grandpappy left us with a lot of uh, gear, but also left us with incredible jeans as well. And I'm not just talking the Levi's. That, whoa. <laughs> Struggling. Where do you sell wood? At the wood shop? Sell wood. Where does the wood need to be to sell it? Or is this wood not ready to be sold yet? Oh, it just has to be on the sell point? Okay, that's 67 bucks for that whole log. That's pretty good. I know, that is impressive. That is pretty impressive. I, I could probably get a pretty big tree. I just don't know if I'd be able to haul it. Shit. I left the engine running, luckily, but... stuff in the road so I can actually see it. I can't see shit here. Oh, maybe that's wedged. Maybe that's the key is wedging it on the handles. Trim it. I try, it won't trim. You can load the wheelbarrow with grass and wood for more money? Oh my god.
Yeah, no, I've checked the wheelbarrow fluid. Don't worry, it's it, it's fine. Fluid levels are are fine. They're 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 at a good level. We lost a log. Where? Oh shit, yeah, we did. How long until I feed a cow? Um, I mean, they're not that expensive. I could get one cow. I could get a calf. But I wouldn't be able to feed it for a very long time. They do eat grass, yeah, but, uh, well, I guess I could cut it and give it to them, yeah. Yeah, I don't have any way of getting them water, but I could maybe download, like, a bucket mod or something. It's going to take me a long time before I can buy another field. Oh, the cow can't get its own grass. You gotta do it all for them. Whoop. Seventy one bucks. That's pretty good. Okay, I got a hundred and ninety four bucks now. What what are we gonna buy next? We can almost buy Actually, I think we can almost buy two fences if we want. How much for a car? Um. I don't know. How do I open the shop from here? Um, okay, I can tell you right now that the car that we would probably want to get, I'd have thought, is going to cost us, where's the cars? Where are they? Am I blind? I can't see the car. Maybe you got to actually be at the place to, to look at them. Oh, it's because I'm in uh, tools. That's why. Um, the one that we want to get is uh, seventeen thousand bucks. The Retriever one thousand. Um, to lease it, I don't know how much it costs to lease. It won't even let me do it. I just don't have enough money, so it's more than one hundred and ninety-four bucks. We could spend 50 bucks on the tent. Look at this place. This is right close to the uh, the sell point. It's 85 grand to buy this uh, parcel of land, though. Yeah, we don't really need a tent. We can just turn... <laughs> You're right. You're right. We can turn the wheelbarrow upside down and live in, in that. It's fine. I don't think a wood chipper is the answer right now. I think, I think unchipped wood sells for way more. I think your your wood chips are just for like the uh, all like the small bits that come off the big logs, you know. That's what you want to chip. 
that's the kind of stuff you want to be chipping up. Yeah, I think dragging the logs is quicker, right? I'm going to park this up and I'm going to try to cut down a tree and just drag the whole thing over. There's a John Deere ride-on mower mod in the workshop that costs 2350 bucks and it can tow trailers. Okay, that would be really good, actually. We might, we might think about getting that one eventually. All right, let me get my saw out. Let's see if we can pull this tree. Oh, I'm not allowed to cut this one. It's not in my land. Okay, what's in my land? All these trees here appear to be in my land. Let's do this one. <laughs> oh, this is great. Yeah, when we get that little tractor thing and we can tie a couple of these things down, no problem. It's 122 kilograms of pure spruce. Yeah, the, the, well, the wheelbarrow is for stuff that is, is mainly for stuff that you can't carry, right? Like grass. You can't scoop it up and carry it in your hands. You're just not able to. Okay, how much is this? That was only 36 bucks. We got 36 bucks for 122 kilograms worth of spruce. Do you get less if you don't trim it all off? You have to trim the leaves for more money? Okay. We'll do a test and see if that's the case. We'll drag it over and cut it up there. And then see. let's see if we can take a slightly bigger tree. We might need to plant some trees too, right? We don't want to completely wreck this the uh, look of this area. Or maybe we do. I don't know. Okay, this one's slightly bigger. 125. this one in place I, I brought this one to the lab to cut it up see if we get some more money for this taking all this crap off oh it won't let me actually cut the tree here you have to cut it on your own land It looks like I can trim it, though. Okay. So, all trimmed up. That's 185 bucks! Jeez! A little bit of trimming gets you a lot more money. That's our biggest that's our biggest payday yet. Okay, let's take a look at the crop calendar for grass. Looks like uh it looks like you can harvest it all year round. Uh well we're not planting any grass though, right? It'll grow except for December, January, February. I don't know what the hell we're gonna do in the winter. Um, where's the one where you can see, like, the, the, uh, the prices of stuff? 
where does where does that it shows you like the best uh the best times of year to sell it yeah do you have to go into it i could try selling some snow in the winter that'd be good too yeah where is that uh where is that view where you can see like um the market prices for stuff Is it the graph? This one? No, this is just stats. This one. Oh, price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one I'm looking for, right? So from the farm shop, um, price fluctuations. So it goes down to 40 bucks in July and August, but goes up to 49 in January. Wood is just constant all the time. Silage uh, varies as well. There's a little bit in it. August, the worst time to sell it, but January is the best time to sell it. So maybe we could start thinking about um, doing some silage. I mean, we we can cut the grass and then just uh, leave it, right? I don't think I can. Uh, I don't think I can pack it though, unless I can just walk on it. I don't know. <laughs> oh man. The logs sell for about 180 bucks each if you um if you uh strip them. Hey, Giso, I, I only have two DLCs, the free DLCs. I got Precision Farming and um, the Adji Pack. They're both free. Those are the only two I have. And then a whole bunch of uh, mods. We started off with a couple of mods, and then we added a couple more mods. We're doing a, a Rags to Riches farming sim. We started off with no money, except for just a couple of items that are... Our grandpappy left us and uh, and a parcel of land. We got a handsaw, a wheelbarrow, a strimmer, and um, a manual planter as well. But at this rate, we might not even need to use that bad boy. How do I get rid Ah, there we go. Yeah, 180 bucks per. We we got 590 bucks now. You can add the the lizard roller pack to the John Deere mower for compaction. It's 1800 bucks. I have no way of. Uh, well, if I get that little car, if I lease that little car. And I keep the money rolling in with the uh, trees for now. I can uh, I can roll over the uh, the grass and uh, and make silage with it anyway, right? Wonder if I could just step on it. <laughs> no, it doesn't work. I don't think you can pat it with the shovel either. So we need to, we need the car at least, right? How far am I planning on taking this run? The goal is to get a billion dollars. Whether we achieve it or not, I have no idea. <laughs> not much left. No, you're right. Just a couple more of these and we're, we're there. There's no dragon fruit in this game that I know of, so... We'll get, uh, we'll probably end up, if we last long enough and we get to the point where we actually have production chains and automation, we can get that course play, right? Because then we can, we can hire a load of people and get them to do stuff for us.
I can't get this last bit. Where is it? Oh well, maybe we just have to sell it like this. It sells for a little bit less because we we had the that bit on it. You don't need course play to have workers. Doesn't it make them a bit better though? Can't. Isn't it like a bit like? From what I saw, isn't it a little bit like um, satisfactory where you like record routes for them or something, so you can get them to do stuff that normally they wouldn't do or, or something like that. I don't know. Maybe I misunderstood. I need 900 bucks to lease that the small car. Uh, once we can get that thing, I think we're I think we're off big time. A couple more trees that we can lease that thing and then we can we can start um, making some more money. Ooh. Never lease, always buy. Okay, well, I'm not saving up 17 grand like this. I'm going to lease lease with a with an aim to buy. Must mean that I can get this last bit off, right? Somehow. No, I cannot. I can't find it. There, I have 931 bucks. Are you guys ready to rip big time? Per workday is 172 bucks. Per work hour is 361 bucks. Do you want to lease it for 877 bucks? <clears throat> you can you we, there's a mod called lease to own apparently where you can uh, you can lease and you can do payments with a with a view of eventually purchasing. Yeah, it's more per hour than per day. I don't really understand that. So we'd have to we'd have to start using this thing like straight away, right? Leasing the mower and the trailer would be cheaper. Well, I have no way of moving the trailer though, so I'd have to lease this to tow the trailer as well. The mower mod can tow the trailer. Oh, that's the the John Deere, the one that you sit on, right? I can't make uh, I can't um, run over the grass to make silage with that thing, though, right? You need to sell two trees on average per day to keep that bad boy. Yeah, I don't understand why. What this? Okay, explain this to me. The base cost per work day and per work hour what does so i mean i see per work hour and i and i and i think i have to pay 361 bucks an hour but why is it 172 per day engine hour
So per day you pay 172 bucks, and then for every hour the vehicle is in use, it's 360. It is an expensive lease, right? I don't Is it just 172 per day then? It's worth doing if you're using it for a short period of time. I well, we don't really need it right now. Like uh We don't have anywhere to make uh silage, right? We have to have a bunker. How much does the bunker cost? How much does a small one cost? Where where are they even? Sheds? Production? No. Selling points, generators, factories. Where does it come under? Tools? Oh, is it silos? Oh, I suppose it would be, right? Aha, here we go. So the cheapest one is 25k. What's this one? This is a bunker silo medium. This is just a manure heap. Bale and pallet storage and a hayloft. Okay, we don't need a hayloft for now. Yeah, that's true. We probably wouldn't use it. Um, we Ideally, we want to lease the trailer and that little thing, right? And then... Uh, and then we could bring back tons of grass and sell it. So we'd probably make more from selling a lot of cut grass, right? But then, at a certain point, we'll have cut all the grass <laughs> on our square and have to wait for it to regrow. There's cheap small silo mods? Okay, we might need to do that. It, let's take a look and see if we can find um, something like that, right? Quick game. Yeah. Okay, I'll be right back. We'll check and see if there's some mods for this. So what are we looking for? Map? No. Selling points, greenhouses, generators, silos. Silage silo pack, indoor silage, Polish silage silo pack. What's this? Three silos for silage. A small silo for 500 bucks, a medium silo for a thousand bucks, and a large silo for 1500. This looks like it's just uh, a, <laughs> like a dirt patch. Small silo is 4200 for this one. And this is just a bunch of tires in the ground to <laughs> to mark. Wow, that's 4200 bucks for just a bunch of tires in the ground? These ones are quite expensive as well. The indoor silage shed is 120 grand. And this one is just uh, an area in a field where you could do side. The tarps are expensive in real life, are they? So what's what's the deal with this one then? This is just this is just a really cheap one. You think this one's too cheap? So you think go for this one? I mean, this is still much cheaper than the uh, than the the big bunker, right? Okay, I'll get this one then. It'll be something to work up towards, right? Um, what else did we want to get while I'm out here? Was there's, There was something else we wanted, right? 
that would have made sense or or maybe not compost biomass can be dumped and processed through fermentation that might be kind of cool but we don't need it right now right a bale bunker modular bunker silo oh my god warehouse package this is the one look at this Warehouse pack. Store your goods centrally in one place. The pack consists of four modules. Pallet warehouse is the main building. Bale, bulk, and liquid warehouse can be added separately. You just turn up with your stuff and you can store it. Look at this. Look at this. Come on. That's great. That's that's one of the goals, right? Actually, you know what? We're going to I'm going to get this. We'll get this ahead of time, right? Storage sheds, build your farm silo. What's this? Build your farm silo. Multi-fruit farm silo and deco silo grid. Okay, we don't need that. There's wooden sheds. There's so many mods now compared to the last time we played when the game was released and there were no mods. There's just so many now. It's crazy. Uh, bale, st these are cool bale storages. Oh, look at these. That looks really neat. The ride on mower. Oh yeah, we were, mower. The John Deere 330 lawnmower, is this the one? Well, well known, the John Deere 330 is very efficient lawnmower. Its cutting platform has a good size, and it and its size helps a lot on the farm. The vintage hand lawn, the vintage mower, vintage style antique small lawnmower. Its design marked times and its practice. Practicality too, an excellent acquisition for your collection and for your work. It's six hundred and fifty bucks. Oh, oh, oh yes. Okay, but this thing can pull a, a trailer, right? Twenty three horsepower, ten liters of fuel capacity. It's expensive though. Twenty three fifty. Um. Is this, oh no, this is a tractor thing. So this thing can actually pull a trailer? Look at the tractor called Ursus. Okay, fine, I'll grab this as well. We'll probably use it, right? Um, <clears throat> is it Ur Ursus? The Ursus. 1614. This tractor was developed at the Polish Czechoslovak Research and Development Center for Tractors in Brno, then produced at the ZM Ursus plant in Poland in 1984 to 2009. Produced in 4,857 copies. Many of them still work on Polish farms and in less quantity in many other countries. It's 58,000 bucks with 155 horsepower. gonna take a, a long time to get that but yeah it's a it's a it's something that we could get for sure at some point right all right well i got the uh i got the john deere and uh it can pull a little trailer so we could try to do like a a, a double lease right the the thing is with the john deere we're still gonna have to scoop up the um everything right we're still gonna have to scoop it all up Oh yeah, lease to own. I don't know if we need lease to own. I already own enough, you know. Oh look, the grass is already growing back a little bit. It doesn't take very long, does it? Oh, I didn't load the silo pack? Whoops. Um, Where do I have to go to do that? Yeah. 
It takes three months for it to fully grow back. Oh, okay. Uh, where is the silo? Oh, yeah, it's right here. I don't think anything that we got is is feels too cheaty, right? It's all like we. It's just the, our start is a, such a small scale, right? Like we're not getting any machinery or anything, so it's all like. Yeah, the warehouse pack is is loaded. Get the real time mod, so it takes IRL months for stuff to grow. Oh wait, did it did it not check them? I checked them last time though, didn't I? Oh, it unchecked when I didn't save. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, let me just load this then. Okay, good. Okay, we're back. Um, right. <laughs> You're doing great, Dad. Oh man. Uh, how did uh, hey Sir Linder? Thanks for the six ninety. Hey Sips, do you own any Vatterstad farm gear? I used to work at their factory assembling and stuff. No, I don't have any of that. I don't even know what that is. We just turn this thing on. I think we'll lease the John Deere, right? We could just maybe sell this thing eventually. <clears throat> how much is this how much is the streamer there's used vehicles here too we don't need any of these right now though look at this massey ferguson mf85 mf8s mf mowers this thing is 60 bucks <laughs> you want to sell it no we can't sell that come on it's 60 bucks we got a big bag here as well um okay fine yeah it's only 60 bucks it's it's you know you can buy it at b and q for like you know 89.99 or whatever If we lease the John Deere and cut all the grass. Oh, we need to lease the trailer at the same time, right? I wonder what else. We need to find something that has capacity, like a higher capacity... And is tippable as well, right? Something with built-in... Maybe like a pickup or something. You can still tip with the pickup, right? Nothing has a higher capacity than my butthole. True, true. It is... Very accommodating up there. Oh, I did it. Nice. It's a Christmas miracle. 182 bucks for that one. Yes. An August Christmas miracle. That's the that's it. Okay, so if we want to lease um, a car with a pick, this pickup has um, no storage. This is how much it weighs, right? One point eight tons, but it doesn't doesn't have like any tippable storage. Yeah, I can't put grass in this one. This one I could put grass in, though, right? 
460 liters worth of grass. I could put multiple trees in the truck. This is true, yeah. I cut them up, put them in. And it has the, uh, it's got the tension belts too, right? At, at the back. I don't have enough money to lease the uh, the pickup just yet. This thing's, this thing's got uh, 460 liters uh, built in as well, right? But I don't have enough for this one. It's a bit more than the Mahindra. The trailer should be able to lease this now. Per workday is 35 bucks. And per work hour is 73 bucks. I think we just lease this as soon as we can, right? And then we uh, combine this with the Mahindra or the lawnmower. Yeah, I forgot about the mower. How much does that thing cost to lease mowers? Oh, this is nothing. It's 23 bucks per day and 49 bucks per work hour. That's nothing, right? Least. Gonna get the trailer as well. Hundred seventy-eight of a, that's one tree. By the way, we just spent one tree's worth. It might not attach. If it doesn't attach, though, it it's got a hitch, so it should attach. Yes, it does. <laughs> oh, shit. We can fit lots of trees on this thing too, right? And it's got the belt. We can fill it up with grass and then get some, a couple of trees on there too. Whoops, I hit one of my stumps. We're gonna have to get a stumper, right? Get rid of some of this stuff. Now, the only problem is gonna be filling up this trailer is gonna be really annoying, but it's fine. Um, lower the mower. So fast. It's 
Sorry, I missed a couple of spots. Don't worry. I'll go back. What's the thing that, that can manually pick up the, uh, the grass? It's a forage wagon, right? Or is it an auger wagon? Am I remembering that right? It is a forage wagon. Okay. What's with the... There's like... A weird input delay with the with the driving. What is that from? There's a setting, right, for that? It takes like a, a minute for it to, to go. I'm missing some huge turns here. Or maybe it's just just got to reacquaint myself with the game a bit. Oh yeah, cruise control is a little bit better. Oh, I keep missing these turns. all these little patches. It's that one turn. Oops. And that one, too. It's like steering a battleship. I'm really struggling. Struggling to, uh... I press forward and it doesn't go forward and stuff, you know? Anybody else have issues like that? Just use the streamer? so slow though I want to cut the, the perfect patch.
perfect in your eyes. You cross-eyed? I needed this today, by the way. This is exactly what the doctor has ordered for me on this day. <laughs> oh, sh oh, shit. Nice. Just gonna go park this back at the shed now. Oof. There we go. Where'd my shovel go? <laughs> Where did it go? <laughs> Where did it go? It's in the grass. Where? Oh, in here somewhere. No. Is it? in my mind? Wait, I was just holding a shovel, was I not? What the fuck is it? I don't see it. Oh. I think it's in here. I saw something. Fuck, did it glitch like through the ground or something? God, I just scooped up a huge load, too. It's got to be hiding under here, right? No, I don't want one of these, right? I want one of these. What's the cheapest one you can get? This one? Oh, this one's pretty cheap. Oh, this one's cheap. Look, 30, 30, 30 grand. <laughs> well, it's cheap. I can't, I can't lease it. It can hold, uh, it can hold 16,000 liters though, right? Oh, it needs uh, 60 horsepower, which I don't think the John Deere can do. It might just be able to do it. How do you see how much horsepower this bad boy has? I don't even know. Check the clip. Where is it? 
Is it under here somewhere? More to the left. Hang on, let me check this clip. Oh, it has 24 horsepower. I think I know where it is. Okay, I think I know where it is. It's like, it's under here somewhere. Or should be, at least. Oh! It's here! I got it! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh man. That That was crazy. I got to shovel up all my grass. I don't know if there's, like, a better tool that we could use for this. I don't think there's, like, a, a rake or anything, is there? Maybe there is. Does anybody want to check to see if there's a rake? Not really? Okay, sure. Oh, shit, whoops. The, the shovel itself holds 200 liters, which is kind of wild. Just lease a mower that has a grass pickup. Maybe there's an attachment for the John Deere. Oh shit, I did it again. Well, I almost did it again. <laughs> I think we've almost got a full load here. This trailer, the trailer and the mower paying for themselves already. Now we're a shovel pro? Well... We were all, we were like fully Amish for maybe an hour and a half or whatever, but now I feel like we've 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 stepped into uh into the modern age with this setup. Oh shit, whoops. I think we're full.
problem with grass is that it doesn't sell for a lot, right? It's it's it, it this all this is going to be less than one log. But the problem with the logs is that you can eventually just chop them all down, and we wouldn't be able to get any more. Yeah, I need to get a tether, but I don't know if there's like a, I don't know if there's like a hand tether. actually just <laughs> three wheelbarrows worth I mean three wheelbarrows worth we 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 did it way faster than we would have right We gotta figure out a way to turn this grass into into hay, right? <laughs> Glad we got the the trailer to carry all the cash back. I know we got paid in pennies. Save up for a sports car? We might have to actually. It it's it has to be better to uh, to do logging, right? But I mean, equally, we have all this all this grass that we could cut. If we could figure out a way to cheaply ted it, we might need another mod for that, though. these bits up there they're probably way too much oh that that it weighs too much these these bits don't weigh too much though look i can put these bits in here There's 65 kilograms each. Oh, this is going to be a huge payday. Holy crap. Yeah, I carried twice as much. Oh, you're, you're right. I think we can cut these a little bit bigger. I don't think we can cut the length of the trailer. It's going to be too heavy to pick up. I feel like this stuff you'd put in the chipper, right? And you could make, like, mulch and shit. But it just disappears.
<laughs> oh. Oh. This is going to be big money. There's like 750 kilograms worth of tree here. How do you put the, uh, the belts on? Was it L? T? L. I can't. It won't let me strap it down. Oh, B. No, it's not B. Oh, you can't if you have this. If you have the sides. All right. Okay. So we have to get, take the sides off. I mean, it might be better to do this, to take the sides off anyway, because we can load bales onto it that way, too, right? So I have to take this thing, so we have to modify it to take the sides off? There's no way I'm taking another load of grass like that. It's, the, it's too much of a waste of time. I think I think bales would would be worth it, but I mean we're a long way off bales. Dude. Wood I think wood to get us started probably, and then I don't know, lease a couple of things, maybe create a field. Shit. Be so much better when we got the belts. We'll be able to bring a, a much bigger load. on something? <laughs> Do you have to buy the belts from the store? I don't know. Do you? Uh, customize my vehicles. Space customize. Do I have to bring the vehicle right in here to do it? Oh, I gotta park it in the box. Of course you do. Of course you do.
Uh, I can't customize it. It won't let me. Oh, because I don't own it. Oh, so I need to return it and then release it. So I go like this, right? Yeah, this mower has a stereo. The big bag, I think, has a liter of rocks in it. We bought it to get to get rid of um, our money at the start. Yeah, I got straps now. L works. There's a lot of trees, actually. There's, there's probably like a couple hundred thousand dollars worth of trees on on our land if we're willing to cut them down which i am honestly we can cut them down and we can start saving up for some uh for some cool uh some cool new stuff right Where's that tree go? Where'd it go? Ah. I still can't quite pick it up. Is logging really farming? Yes. We'd have to do logging for all sorts of stuff. We'd we're, we're gonna have to build our own log shed. I gotta go. What the heck was that? Tree, that was tree beard, yeah. He's coming to get us. He doesn't like uh he doesn't like that we've cut down uh be able to put we'll be able to strap this thing down oh no it's a lease
170 kilograms. No problem. So if you use the wood chipper, you're just losing money every time, right? The, the Or do you get uh, a huge volume of wood chips based on what you put into it? And the chippings are easier to transport, I suppose, yeah. So do you think ultimately it is better to chip it all up and sell the chippings? Do you think it's better to just straight up sell logs? Hell yeah. This has got to get us some decent money, right? Can you, can you double strap? You can just restrap. Oh, so you just got to go really quick. Or else everything will just fall off. Yes. All right, this mower is incredible. It's one of the finest. Uh, we could we could probably uh, not lease the mower now, unless we're gonna do some more mowing. Which, I mean, maybe we should. We'll, have, we'll go to bed um, once it gets dark. And then um, I think it'll be September. I think it'll advance a month, right?
Oh god, it's struggling now. Of course, the shop has to be up a hill. Whoops. Yeah, we lost all of our momentum. You were right about that. I think maybe it's jammed on this log, though. I did it. I've done it. <laughs> it's gonna be the tough one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what did I do? Oh, attempt pushed you in the other things. Oh, how do I swap, um... How do I change the, uh, the attachment? Oh, G for next tool, right? Turn on mower. Fasten and unfasten the belts. All right. It's worth it for the amount of cheddar cheese we're about to make, right? <laughs> we gotta buy the hornbuckle mobile. some good wood right there. Uh, we, ha we don't have a bed, but I'm going to buy the tent. Yeah, it's like a hundred grass loads, you're right. It's insane. I do have the doormat, but I want to sleep in a tent. Not bad for our first day. That's a, a that's a whole last day to be fair, but we did pretty good. I should use the wood to make furniture? I don't, how am I gonna do that right now? I don't even have a house. But wait.
How do I sell this uh, mat? Where is it? I can't even select it. Ah. Two bucks. Heck yeah. Sleep. Uh, what time do you want to wake up? Six in the morning? Ah, oh, shit. It rained a bit last night. Let's get another tree or two and then maybe we can get a, uh, a tether. We need something to pull the tether with though, right? Oh shit, no. <laughs> How? <laughs> Actually makes it easier to cut the tree. Yeah, I know it's just that we just lease this mower, it's fine. Yeah, we could just strap it on like that, yeah. Perfect. Whoops. Perfect. Oh, it's easier to do it from the side. You can just trim it all up. to the tip. Oh, I can't pick this one up. It's too heavy. Whoops. Yeah, it's it is September now. Not that we need to worry about planting any crops because we have no means to, well, even create a field at the moment, but <coughs> eventually we're saving. I actually think we should get that, uh, that, uh, silo. The uh, the the 4200 one, right? That would be the best thing to do uh, with the grass.
I think it's a. I think it can make uh, silage. We'll check before we buy it. But yeah, I, th I think it can. Oops. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, you can get a greenhouse. There's greenhouses in this. You could plant some tomatoes. Whoa. <laughs> this mower is is on fire constantly on fire from the moment I leased it these logs are secure what are you talking about it's fine they're not going anywhere now can we make it up this hill is the question I'm going to take it at a, a bit of a side angle the hill is one thing this bit is another though, right? It's really hard. We need some big momentum here. We did it. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I know the horsepower on this is it's a marvel. Fifteen hundred bucks. We can we can actually afford to buy that uh, that silo if we want to. The crappy outdoor one. The only thing is, is we'd need to uh, we need to send the trailer back and uh, get it with the sides up again, right? So that we can turn all that grass into silage. That'll be something that can just happen over the winter, and then we can uh, and then we can sell it. See when the good time to sell it is. And in the meantime, we can cut down some more trees and sell the logs. It's a good idea. Right. Um, silos. We're looking for um, these ones. 4,200. This is a silage silo pack. A bunker silo can be filled with chaff, grass, or hay. After compacting and covering the silo, the content converts into silage. It is just... And actually, we got the perfect spot for it right here. Um, how do you rotate? Ah, yeah. Look, it snaps, too. It, yeah, it needs compacting. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Um, we're gonna probably have to lease the uh, uh, that little uh, that little vehicle too, right? Or the mower with if as if the mower's up, we could use the mower to compact it. That might work too, actually. I've done it. That that was our first big purchase. The, 
the sale has not uh, changed. You want to just lease another trailer? Since we're going to be using both. They're so cheap, right? <laughs> the chickens, um, you can't, the chickens, you can't just buy them. Uh, I think you need a coop anyway, and maybe there's some cheap coops, but you got to feed them before they start doing anything, and we wouldn't have everything we need to feed them. They need, um, you need to give them all sorts of different stuff, right? You got to give them like um, energy food and moisture food and roughage and all this stuff. You got to love them. Yeah. Water, grain. I, I have no means of getting any of this stuff. I'd have to buy it all. No, I don't think... Oh, no, I don't think I have complicated animals. Maybe I'm thinking... I thought that uh, that was all base game stuff. Okay, let me grab this trailer. So, I think you would love this, yeah. I feel like you would love playing this game. This trailer dumps. Yeah, but the problem is, is that with the uh, sides on, it doesn't have the tension belts. So you can f you fit less logs into it. We've got we've we've been here. We've, we've been over all this already. Here we go. No, <laughs> I've done it again. <laughs> Fudge. Every time. You can't you can't look around too fast with this bad boy. Thank God for this shovel, huh? Turns out shovel mod's pretty damn good.
Silage should be should sell for a decent amount, right? Some big money in silage. Christmas crustacean's birthday? Oh my god, happy birthday, Christmas crustacean. Holy jeez. Alright, let's get this grass in here. My shovel. <laughs> Shit, I did it again. I'm definitely getting better better at using the uh, the shovel. It was a bit ropey at first, I'll admit. <laughs> the shuffle reminds you of Surgeon Sim. And Surgeon Sim, the uh the one I played with the Ravs, it went crazy. Like it it was so uh, such a different game to the first one, wasn't it? It almost felt like a mini game. It was like a, it was like it was like a mixture of like Surgeon Sim and Portal 2 multiplayer. It was weird. All right, it's full. There's a lot of grass out here. Lots of grass. Thank God for this John Deere. I this this has been such a good thing to lease. <laughs> oh my god. It was a it it was the key to unlocking uh a lot of money for us.
Are there any mods that add like uh you know, you need to like eat and like hydrate and stuff? Like like survival sort of stuff? That might be kind of cool too. Why would I want to add that? I don't know. <laughs> September. So this will this grass will continue to grow, um, but it will not grow in uh, December, January, or February. Johnny September. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not going to grow in those months. Is, um, has Jingle Jam started or is it tonight? Is it just like the office cam or whatever for today? Or has it actually... It's usually at night, right? Lewis does the... Oh, Tom and Ben are live? Is Lewis doing the opening ceremony thing tonight? I I'm I am part of the Augs cast. I'm supposed to be and I am. I don't know everything they do though. I don't have like a tracking device on them or whatever. Like they do st I mean they got a whole office that I don't work at. Yeah, really. I know it's incredible, isn't it? Do you guys know exactly what your boss is doing at all at all times of the day? Yes. Well, that's kind of weird. No. Oh. No. Yeah, this, it, I'll tell you what, it is a slippery shovel. It's very slippery. You turn around and then boom, it's just, it's gone. Lost underneath a, <laughs> a mound of um, mowed grass. What's my accountant like? I don't know, I've never met him before. 
I just send all my stuff off into the nether and hope for the best. Hey, what's up, Teagles? He could be robbing my, me blind, but what if I told you that there's nothing to rob? Oh shit, I'm pressing the wrong button. How much can this hold? This thing holds um, 1,600 liters, I think. The shovel holds 200. So it's like eight, was it eight full scoops to fill up the trailer? There's plenty more grass to, to uh, mow as well. I've only mowed a little bit of it. It's a huge shovel, yeah. My, uh, my grandpappy left it to me after he died, along with uh, a small loan of uh, $85,000 so that I could get set up in no man's land. Which is exactly what I've done. And any money I had left over, I bought myself um, a tent... What else have I bought myself, chat? I bought a strimmer to get going, but we made enough money to lease this John Deere mower, which we've been using instead. We can sell the strimmer. I don't think we'll ever use it again now. Oh yeah, we had a doormat. We bought a doormat. We sold that too for $2. Is it full? Yeah, it is. Holy crap. got a little bit stuck there. God, there's nothing better than just being in the virtual outdoors, right? Just you, your trailer, your shovel, bird song. Oh. What a feeling. Oh, no, we haven't. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> oh, good. It's, it's retrievable. <laughs> oh, 
I do, I do, Eric. I have my Jingle Jam donation link thing. I set it up. I have to activate it, I think. It wouldn't let me activate it before because I couldn't do it until today. Let me see if I can find it. It's not, it's on, it's a tiltify thing, right? Yeah, you could actually, you probably could use the trailer to transport way more shovels than it can normally fit. But you'd have to empty each one of them out as well. So, I don't know. Maybe it'd be more hassle than it's worth. Whoops. Please turn on your camera. It's just not the same if I can't see my favorite 26 <laughs> year old hat boy in the morning. Hey cameraman, thanks so much for the 10. I gotta find my, I had to um, unhook a bunch of stuff when I tidied up the garage and I'm too lazy to do it. I'll find it though, I'll, I'll get it back. Oh shit. Thank you so much for the 10, I appreciate it. We've got a nice little pile of silage here that I can't drive off of for the moment. And the sh oh shit, not the shovel. Where is it? I found it. All right. Good. Let me just put this down here. I'm compacting it. Looks like some of it is spilled out. You might need to tidy it up a little bit with the shovel. I'm really struggling here. I'm just gonna mow this area like around. Oh. Um, excuse me, um, streamer?
very musical. Yes. Come on. This is pretty satisfying, no? Look, we can we can mark like the entrance to our campsite. <laughs> I don't think we're going to use this thing again. Let's get rid of it. Uh, this is not least. Uh, we can sell this for... Um, 60 bucks. Grandpappy will be so annoyed that one of the tools that he left us with we've sold. The streamer was uh, not not very good. I mean, it was it was it was okay, but honestly, um, oh, this is chaff now. It was it was okay, but it, it you just walked way too slow with it. was the problem that first uh, trip from the uh, from the store down to um, our lot here with that was really painful whoops I think I accidentally picked up some chaff you can't do mixed loads on the shovel I don't know if the streamer can remove the bush. I think maybe this can. Oh no, it can't. <coughs> what do you have to do? Landscape it away? With um, 
plants? Meadow. Oh. Perfect. Probably help to actually have the mower lifted, which I did not do. Uh oh. Nice. Just uh, like seven more hours of this and we should, uh, should be able to cover it over. Yeah, good. I don't think we have anything that we could put, like, uh, an attachment on or whatever, right? Um, silage. 162 at the farm shop. The best time to sell it is January. 189. got 10,000 liters of it. Ooh, I've got tea coming out. At this time, oh, thank you. No, no, it's fine. Thank you. Oh, do you mind taking that? <laughs> thank you. Thanks very much. Ooh. 11% chat. 12%? Oh my god. It's incredible. Uh, holy 
crap. I don't know if you can get your own helicopter. I don't think you can. It'd be cool if you could. Yeah, the level is going down. I think it's as it spills out the side. Oddly, it doesn't seem to spill out the other side. It's just this this one side that it's spilling out of. Oh, now it is. because I didn't load it up equally. Well, luckily I got the shovel. Right? I think uh, you got to be really careful with the shovel because if you want to get the bits that are outside, it fills up very quickly. We want to try to keep it in here, right? But I think, I feel like it'll spill out again. Try again. God, it takes so long to compact it. I don't know if you need the concrete wall, Dowie. Look, it doesn't seem to spill out that other side, so... Looks like it'll stay in. You think the trailer, the the weight will help it?
get a tank? Yeah, I need one. Um, I need a water tank, maybe a fuel tank. Oh no, I've got uh, my, I got my fuel tank. I'm stuck on the side. That's not fair. That's not fair. We're a third of the way there. I know, like everything in this, it's gonna take forever, but it'll be worth it. Once we get full fermentation, Imagine all this work not paying out in the end. Ah, uh, there's quite a bit of it here. We should get about, what's it worth? If we have about 10,000 liters of silo, of silage, and we sell it for, was it 189 per thousand liters? That's probably not really that worth it, but it's something, it's something that can just sit here and do stuff while we do other stuff. Five bucks.
Imagine tidying up these edges, reset the uh, the compaction percentage. <laughs> Okay, let's try tidying up these edges completely and see if it still spills over. like a sweet willy roll bar for this. We need like a, a weight. Yeah, it still spills out this one side. It's really weird, isn't it? Is <laughs> the ground level? Yes. Yeah, I made sure I leveled it out perfectly. Yeah, my level is level two, yeah. Maybe it'll still cover the bits that are outside of the bunker. I think it does sometimes, right? As long as it's all attached.
by the time this is ready, hopefully we'll have a bit more money and a bigger a bigger wagon to move it all in. But for now, <laughs> we might be shoveling it into this one, depending. We're nearly three quarters of the way there. straighten out again. That is a solid 993 big ones. I made it myself. Also, this thing that we're uh, that we're compacting all this chaff in, which is basically just uh, a bit of dirt with tires on the side of it, 4,200 big ones. I bought it. Just like that Destiny's Child song. Dirt with tires around it. I bought it. 4,200 bucks. I bought that. Sometimes you just gotta grind. Sometimes you just gotta get your head in the game. You gotta, you gotta focus. You gotta, you gotta cancel out all the noise. You just gotta get the job done. Hey man, hey, remember up? what I said about you being proof that anything is possible? Yes. Just wanted to update that you now have three thousand people watching you, including myself, drive back and forth over grass. If anyone ever tells you are nothing, they are wrong. I, I know, I know, Rud hey, Thank you so much, Ruddus. Thanks for the reminder. And thanks for the 10 as well. Much appreciated. Thank you. No, all hope is not low. What are you talking about? You know what? In like a couple of years' time, you guys are going to come back to this stream. You're going to be like, oh my god, is he still doing that same run he started? Where he's trying to make a billion dollars in farming sim from nothing? And you're going to see... You're going to see uh, something truly incredible. You're going to see a huge warehouse that's going to be filled with pallets and bales and all of the stuff that we've made. We're going to be making furniture. We're going to be planting trees and cutting them down with our very own, not least, purchase Scorpion King. I'll tell you what. We're going to have so much to do. We're, it, we're basically making ourselves a, a seasonal p playground out here. I mean, September? September schmiptember. Everybody's like, you can't do anything in September. Well, I can cut down trees. And I can make uh, furniture. And I can milk the cows. Every day at 4.30, I can milk the cows. You know what I mean? There's going to be so much to do. There's going to be so much activities to complete. It's going to be crazy.
This is unfortunate what's just happened here, honestly. Okay, it's it's completely compacted. We did it. We've achieved it. Let me just unstuck this trailer. like a glove don't shove perfect right um we've blanketed the silo unfortunately um some chaff has been left out but it's fine we'll cover that up next time right we might want to move this chaff back here or get a second silo. I don't think this this thing is uh, is built for the the volume that we are trying to push here. No. Having a great deal of difficulty here. Okay, there we go. Just gotta tidy it up a little. All this for one tree. Well, I think it's good to have a couple of things on the on the back burner, you know, so that we have some more stuff to do. Because we'll run out of trees eventually. I mean, we could probably plant some more, but I think there's a mod where you can hand plant trees as well, which might be good. <laughs> we might be downloading that one. Looking good. I mean, we could just sell this chaff. It's not worth a lot, though. Probably better to just... Um, wait for this to be ready and then... Either store it somewhere... Well, we might be able to sell it in January, actually. Wait until January to sell it. make our maximum whoops yeah I'll just put that there <laughs> all right
time to chop down another tree. Can't strap this. No, we will never be able to pull this. tree. The tractor I'm riding, I bought it, all the farmers, compacting <laughs> silage, mow the grass around me. All the trailers and the hay balers, mow the grass around me. <laughs> Girl, I didn't know Sips could farm sim like that. Chat, how your Sips farm sim like that? Throw your hands up in the air. Hey, thank you so much, Teagles, for the 10. I appreciate it. This tractor I'm riding, I bought it. These bales I'm baling, I bought them. Uh, wood I'm chopping, I bought it. Do -do 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 -do. God, what a song, eh? What what the hell happened to Beyonce? Like, where are all the where are all the uh, the bangers? Like the Destiny's Child era bangers. strap great strap remember when penny used to do those like beverly hillbilly loads of uh wood
No one stacks like Penny. It's true. Nobody stacks like Penny. Penny was the ultimate. Well, you're looking at like probably a couple of thousand dollars worth of wood here. This is what peak wood selling looks like, whether you like it or not. Nice. Oh, oh. Nearly had a mishap there. Pretty good. Pretty good. chat we're gonna go have some lunch um i'll leave you with a view of what we've managed to set up in um i'm embarrassed to say four hours and 33 minutes although we did play a bit of sims 4 we did play it a little bit played like 15 minutes and finished that scenario and we messed around with mods for a bit too it's this is true this is true all right let me turn this bad boy off get out of here okay you guys have a think about what we've done here <laughs> and have a word with yourselves i'll be right back okay see you in a sec back no <laughs> um what were we doing oh yeah oh yeah it's uh it's 2 30 in the afternoon on uh september it's september silage will sell uh in january right it only sells for uh how much i don't know Whatever this is. It looks like the best time to sell it's in January, right? 189. It's 164 right now. Hmm. Uh, no tea. No. Um they're gonna somebody's gonna bring me some tea after though. I don't know when. But I I decided, you know what? I'll wait for that. Clothes? Bread? Bread. Holy shit. Hey, eh, 55 right now, you can go up to 62. Right a farmer walks into a bar. Wood? Barkeep says, say there fella, you look a little down. What's wrong? Farmer says, my girlfriend left me for a tractor. Barkeep says, no way, why? Farmer says, she said that my tractor is a better attractor. Uh... <laughs> Okay, thanks, Anonymous. Thanks for 1337. I appreciate it. Um, boo! <laughs> yeah, this is it. Boo! Boo. Um, you know what? It was, it was fine. It was, it was all right. What else can we sell right now that will make us some money? 
Also, we need to look into uh, making, I mean, these supply chains, we don't have any of this stuff. Gold. Look at the gold. Oh, my God. Stones. 50 bucks for stones. Slurry, manure. No, no. Furniture. Furniture is pretty crazy. You could sell in July for some good money. Sunflower oil. Olive oil, canola oil is all pretty good too, but you'd need factories to make all this stuff. Um, so we're on uh, wood and uh, and silage, and potentially we'd have to plant a pretty easy to um, to do thing, right? Like it would have to be something like maybe canola. Canola is good, seven twenty nine. Wheat is four oh seven. Wheat's not so bad. Soybeans are crazy. Corn is not that good. Potatoes, not good either. But I, the yields for potatoes are probably huge, right? They grow like crazy. Sugar cane. Seeds. You can sell seeds, apparently. Uh, you can't sell them, right? You can only buy them. Do I celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve? Um, no. Do you? I celebrate Christmas on Christmas, and I look forward to Christmas on Christmas Eve, the Eve of Christmas. Same? Me too. That's what I do too. Well, at least it's what I've always done. Wheat and then chickens. Eggs. I think we need to get... Yeah, we could get some animals, but I have nowhere to put animals right now, and won't. I won't for like some quite some time. What uh, what are we looking at in terms of making a um, field? What can actually make a field? What do we need for that? Oh, forestry equipment. We need just a plow. Any plow. Is this what we need? Just any plows. Any plow can create a field. Right, okay. So we're just gonna be creating a field out of nothing. And will it stay a field? As long as we keep doing stuff to it? Something that my mower can pull. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, we're gonna probably get What's the cheapest tractor we could potentially get? This guy, 39K. It's gotta be that one, right? This one here. <laughs> it's nice. 39,000? Uh, we could lease it. 1,989, we actually have money to lease this thing. So we could we could lease this and a plow and plow our first field, and we can do that during the winter. Let's cut down a couple more trees, and then we could do that. And then if we plow a field during the winter, we can, uh, we can get ready to, um, we can get ready to uh, plant stuff in the uh, spring, right? What do we want to plant in the spring? Maybe canola. Seven twenty nine. We would have to wait until December to sell it for the best price, though. Um, January. It's so like everything goes up like uh, in the winter. So we'd want to sell stuff in the winter, ideally. Uh, but canola, canola itself. What do we need for? What do we need? Um, Six twenty eight. We just need seeds, and we don't need anything special, right? Uh, when I mean, when we harvest it, though. Canola. So canola, we'd need to plant it. Oh. God, it needs to be planted in August or September. So we're looking for stuff that we could plant in the spring, right? So we could plant oats, corn, sunflowers, soybeans. Soybeans not bad, right? 
you, you don't need anything special for soybeans. We could plant, we could create a field and we could plant soybeans in uh, April or May and then harvest them in October, November. And soybeans, you don't need anything, uh, you don't need anything crazy special for them either, right? You just need a, um, we would just need to lease a harvester. One of these ones, probably this guy here, the Rostel Smash Nova 30, 330. Ah, I can see soybeans in the thing, and it needs a header as well. So we'd need a Nova 330 header, uh, which comes under tools. The Power Stream 500. What is this? Oh, this is the this is a trailer for it. It's just this one here, right? The PowerStream 500 details. Um, where does it tell you what it's compatible with? There's a there's a, a thing that tells you what it it can be used with, right? Oh, C on the actual harvester. Okay, that's why. Harvester. Right, yeah. So the PowerStream 500 or the Corn Champion 5R if we want to do corn, which we don't. So we'll have to get these two things um, in October, November. But if we keep doing uh, wood stuff up until then, I think this could work. I think that's a good plan. And then we could get soybeans, and then that'll be a, a real nice chunk of money, right? Some soybeans. Oh, yeah, check the sales. I forgot. No, there's nothing in here that we want right now. I actually think that this hand tool is better than the chainsaws. <laughs> it's so fast. We didn't mean to cheat like this, but we have cheated a little bit. We never meant to cheat here. Oh, I can't pick this up or this. Too heavy. Got to cut them in half. Oh, shit. Silage, you need it for uh, animals too, right? But it's the kind of thing, um, if you make a ton of it, you can sell it for a lot of money. But otherwise, you can just sell what you don't use after your animals have used it. Oh, it's just milk cows? All right. There's a um, Skylines patch today. City Skylines 2 patch. Looks like it fixed um, mail and possibly exports as well. I mean, I don't know. I haven't played it, but... Um, and uh, some of the fixes for exports, it looks like they've changed some of the weird behavior that we saw around the industry stuff as well with um, people shopping at uh, industry and... Um, storage industry spawning a lot of vehicles or or and whatnot 
I think they fixed some of that too, it looks like. I am going to wait for a few more patches before trying again. It's too it's too soon to uh to try it again, I think. I think it, I honestly think it does need a couple more patches because whilst those are great changes that are needed, there's still a, a bunch of other stuff that needs to be um fixed because it's too annoying. Um the elementary school thing uh, hopefully will be fixed and the game will be a lot more enjoyable to play when it's fixed. And uh, some of the traffic stuff as well is really annoying. But also the game, you know, like specific bug fix issues aside, the game just seems to fall apart past a certain population as well right like uh like the simulation just slows down and we could see it even in the city that we were working on before every once in a while it would just really slow right down and apparently it just gets worse and worse and worse as your population gets bigger it's it's a shame really But we'll see. I mean, let's see see what um, what the deal is with this patch, and then uh, we'll wait for a couple more, maybe, and then go back to it. I think I missed a, a log. I'm not sure. a hefty load for the sawmill. Yes. Yes, it is. This little lawnmower has been pretty good. I think if we're not going to do any more um, lawnmower stuff, though, we can maybe try to at least that other thing. It might be a little bit faster. It might have a bit more pull to it. The little uh, Jeep-looking thing. Right now, we're saving up some money so that we can lease a tractor and a plow. So that we can get uh, get a field going. ever change from the John Deere I'm 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 gonna do it right now <laughs> it's uh I don't we don't need the mow and we need more a little bit more horsepower I think I'm doing it right I'm sorry <laughs> but we got to do it we got to return it we're gonna get um, we're gonna get this little guy instead it's got 83 horsepowers it's going to be able to, to pull even more stuff, right? We're going to lease this. It's a little bit more expensive, but we got some money. Here we go. This is the one for me. It's got extra storage, too. We can maybe, we can maybe chop down t two trees with this. It's not quite the pussy wagon, I know, but it's so much faster. Look at it. It doesn't match it. I know it doesn't match the trailer. We don't need it to mow. I'm not mowing anymore. Not at this scale. It's it's not worth it. We, when we can just do tree stuff and then we can actually get to doing some farming. Right?
1.4 tons of tree here. Yeah, you can hire employees in this game. We don't need to do any of that right now, though. Whoa. Look at that. I didn't think we would we would we get too crazy into the hand saw logging, but it seems crazy not to. It's just such good money to get us going, right? You just, we, we want to try to get a little bit of scale. Oh, shit. Heck yeah. Going for two. I'm such a fast stripper. Look at that. 3.9 tons. Jeez. That is a big one. I can't even pick this up. Or this. Jeez, they're huge.
perfect. Oh, I can strap, uh, I can, I can strap in, uh, the back of the little thing, too. So this one is 136 kgs versus 155 kgs. I'll have to come back and chop the rest of this in a sec. We'll have to pick that up too. Alright, this vehicle is a game changer, you're right. Look at this thing. It's so fast. The horsepower on it too. Look at this. I'm doing it. I've done it. I know, I'm so strong. I've been... I told you, uh, Grandpappy gave me really good genes. No, we do need a bigger trailer now. Yeah, you're right. Oh, I didn't even use the bicycle at, at the start. We were going to download the mod, I completely forgot to get it. 
We haven't needed to. We made uh, we made enough money quickly enough to uh, to get going here. No bicycle was needed. Um, we did walk over with the strimmer, though. We could get a, a bike for leisure, yeah, that's true. These are, these are 160. They're like pretty close to the limit where I wouldn't be able to carry them. Having said that, though, I did pick up this entire whip and the trailer before. Oh, I can't pick this one up. a bit too heavy. Make the rules. I just abide by them. Sometimes. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> I know. I know. Maybe I can just put this one next to here now. Without knocking all of this off. Can strap some of it. I think there's like just some free storage back here if we're smart about it, right? Like that. Perfect.
Oh, I still can't pick this thing up. There, now I can. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> Man, now I've done it. It was perfect. It's all falling off now. I think I gotta restack it. It's a total mess. I need Penny. I can't do this alone. This is where Penny was so good. God, she could stack these trailers. You could give her a small trailer and she would just be able to stack so much wood on it.
think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Uh, the front tires are not touching the ground, which is causing some problems. <laughs> Hold on. Fuck. Shit. Close. Maybe I get this one. <laughs> Maybe I could just pull the whole thing. God, I got incredible genes. Oh, so close. I think we just got to find the right log. Maybe we can flip the car and then the trailer. Maybe it's because we're trying to do both at once.
Because the trailer, we almost got it. Okay. I now see what the issue is. I now, I've now, I've, I've gotten to the bottom of it. We didn't, we didn't spread the load. <laughs> the load was not spread properly. here somehow so it's not going to fit on the trailer okay perfect that's perfect We might have to come back for this stuff. Oh, we tried. God, this is still touch and go. Look at the fucking weight on this.
I did it. Was that Bigfoot? I think it was, yeah. We should have enough to get the plow and the tractor now. We've got 8,353 bucks. We'll go to bed, I think, and get it in the morning. It's getting dark. Almost ran over my tent. No, I can't plant anything in October. I'm just going to create the field. I don't think there's anything to plant in October anyway. All right, let's see. Um, small tractors. We want... This guy. It's got 100 horsepower. And the plow that we're looking at. It's probably this one, right? The Pottinger Servo 25. It's going to take a little while, but we don't need a huge field. We'll just make like a... Well, we got time. It doesn't matter. That's a lot of horses. Yeah, can you imagine that many horses coming at you? It would be crazy. Um, 14,000 bucks to lease is nothing yet. And the tractor. To lease. It's a bit more. <laughs> yes. a beast I got the lights Yep. Now, now we are gaming. field we're not even going to cut all this grass we're just going to make a nice field okay where are we on the map right now we are Yes, perfect. It looks like there's like a little road here, potentially. It's okay. It's no man's land. We make all of our own stuff, right? I don't think the plow works on uh, not non-field, by the way. 
It is not making a field. You need something specific for this, right? To make a field. Limit to fields. Allow create fields. Aha. I don't know if it's going to be the straightest field. Oh, you get rid of the bushes that way. You might have to get rid of some of these trees, too. Try to straighten it up a little bit. Why am I doing it at night? I'm not. I'm doing it in the morning. 6.30 a.m. It's just not light out yet. It is, it's the crack of dawn. Whoops. I don't know if we, oh yeah, we do have rear lights. Whoops. Of course we do. It's a tractor. Completely forgot. There we go. We can get some more lights on. Uh, it is, that's a that is a huge game changer. You're right. Can't believe we're gonna have a field. live in a tent the sun is pretty bright the sun is rising it, it it's a bit later to rise I think because it's the uh, it's the fall now
Whoops. I can't believe how much money we've made today. Off just trees. Insane. I think with that uh, precision farming, we need to do like the uh, analyzer thing, right? To see what the soil composition is. And then we'll probably have to prepare the soil and stuff too. I actually think we have uh, crop uh, trampling on as well, which we need to be careful of. No, I'm not sowing crops until um, April, I think. We're going to do uh, canola. No, no, we're doing soybeans, right? March, April time. Until then, we'll um, get some money and try to get the field ready. We'll try to get it limed and what whatnot. Try to get the pH right on it. Maybe we can even do, like, uh, crop rotations. Would you enjoy that? Field rotations? I feel like I'm at the point in my life where I could get excited by that. We'll straighten out the field once we've got it uh, done. We'll try to straighten it out a bit, make it a little bit easier. To work with. Oh, I missed a bit.
Look, I'm making the Dota logo. It's a it's a little um, teaser for the next game that I plan on playing. Can't wait to get back into Dota. Love that. Is multiplayer still fucked with this? I have no idea. I've been just playing single player today. But the last time we tried playing this multiplayer was shortly after it released. Which was a little while ago. I'd imagine that it's probably better now, but I honestly have no idea. I've nearly plowed a field. I've nearly, it's nearly done. It's just a small field, but I'll start somewhere. We don't really have a lot of land, so just got to do the do the best we can with what we got. I've been watching the bear with uh, with my wife, and uh, I've really been enjoying it. We're about, we're just over halfway through season one, and my wife hates it. <laughs> she can never understand what any of them are saying. Like, she doesn't know anything about Chicago. Like, she doesn't really know, like, anything about American sports or anything. So, like, I'm constantly having to explain. She's like, what are the Cubs? What's this? What's that? And, uh, and then yesterday, she's just like, I don't even know why I'm still watching this show. I don't even like it. She hates Richard. Um, and she just said that they just yell too much. There's just too much yelling and it's just like too chaotic and stuff. Um, so I was like, all right, well, you know, if you don't like it, it's fine. I'll just watch it and I'll tell you how it goes sort of thing. And uh, so she she went to, she she wanted to see like, you know, you know when you when you don't like something, you you go and you look around to see if it's if it's just you or if other people agree or whatever. And it got it got like 99% on Rotten Tomatoes and stuff. And all these people are saying how great it is and how season 2 is really good. So she's reading about that. Um, and then she went down some rabbit hole where she was reading reviews about True Detective season 2. <laughs> Fucking hell, it was so funny. Oh my god. If you've ever seen season two of True Detective. Oh, God. <laughs> it's so bad. We watched it and, and did not like it years ago. Uh, it just felt so weird after the first season was so amazing. Um, it was odd that that was, that was season two. And then season three was really good after that too which was a, a surprise that he even came back considering how bad season two was but uh yeah season one was incredible so uh but then today when i was having lunch she was like you know what as much as i don't like it i'm gonna watch the rest of the bear because i want to see what happens now <laughs> it's like all right great 
So we're back on it. It was a, it was a, it was a roller roller coaster ride for sure, but we're back on it. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Ah, uh, you know what? It's like, it's a small field, but it's not that bad. I'll try to straighten it out a little. Up here is where the big problem starts. <laughs> it's not, it is not straight. We can straighten it up. down there is not straight either. We could use the painter, right, to uh, to to fix it up. We don't actually have to do it like this. Just do the use the painter uh, for like the uh, the like the finishing touches. cut down these trees which uh you know it's fine Oh, what is my thing? Um, I think it is... Sorry, my daughter is messaging me from the house. Okay. Apologies. No, no, it's not a dementia moment. I had to respond. Can't leave an eight-year-old hanging. She'd be mad. My response was, tell mom to like the bear. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, she's eight. My son's gonna be 12 this weekend. It's Saturday, he's 12. Time flies for sure. We're getting him um, Super Mario Wonder and a couple of other bits and pieces that he asked for. He's really, 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 really excited to play Super Mario Wonder. It looks really good. Yeah, it does. Okay. Let's see about painting this now. Because I think I've straightened it out pretty good, right? Painting. Oh, I see. You got to cut the grass. Oh, no. So we can use this just to straighten out any, like, rough edges or whatever. Uh, like this one. It costs a bit of money, but... Oh, maybe it's not as straight as I thought it was. <laughs> oh. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, perfect, right? Just make it, like, as close to as possible so it doesn't look too weird. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, there's a bit of grass there, but that'll come out when we uh, when we cultivate and stuff anyway, right? When, when the time... I mean, grass will just grow on this field anyway because I think it's, what, December, uh, January, and February where where no grass will grow? Plow over the grass. Oh, the good news is... Yeah, I could just plow over the grass. We've got to cut down this tree, too, I guess. Uh, we can return this equipment now that we're done with it. We don't have to hang on to it. We're not going to need it again until March. And even then, we, don't, we won't need to plow then, because we've created the field. Shit, how am I gonna... I'm gonna need a stump grinder as well, right? Grind my stump. Don't you dare. I can't get rid of this bit. Look at this. Oh, it's gone now. No, oh, that bit's gone too. Okay, there's not actually that much uh, wood here. It's like two bits of wood. We'll get this added on for the... Uh, oh, hang on a second.
I think we should cut this tree down too. While we're here. Cause it'll be it'll get in the way, right? These are just little baby trees. That tree is gonna is only gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger and become more of a pain in the butt in the future. Wow, look, we've got a field! I made this! I made this. It was me. We need to collect some data for our field to see what we're dealing with here, right? Look at that. Look at that. We could put we could decorate this up real nice too, right? We could we could do a planet zoo on this. We get some hedgerows around this, uh, a stony wall or something if you want. Uh, make a giraffe enclosure. Yep. We straighten it out about as much as we could. It's fine. It doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to be ready to ready to rock and roll. Look at that. It's pretty nice. Wait, um, we can return the plow. I think we'll keep the tractor because we're gonna need um, miscellaneous. No. Um, what is it? It's a tool. It's a tool, right? We want to see what this is, uh, what this field is made of, and we need that. Um, I don't know where it is actually. Miscellaneous, perhaps. It's this thing. The Isaria Scout. With the soil sampling unit, you can take soil samples to have more detailed information about a field for future working steps. So we'll uh, we'll. I think we can attach this to the back. It's going to cost 867 bucks to lease. And then we have to send the samples off to the lab, which costs a little bit of money too. But I think we have enough to do it. Um, right. Let's return the, um, the plow. Perfect. Let's return, um, which one's the, which trailer? It's this one, right? It's the second trailer, the one with the sides up. They both have the same license plate. Yeah, it's the second one, right? The second one was the one with the sides up. The bottom bar doesn't change. Oh, it's this one because this one can fit. Uh, yeah, it, you're right. It is this one. Uh, car, small truck. Okay, we'll hang on to the small tractor for now.
All right, let's go get this sampler thing. Let's see what see what's under here. Oh, and we need to de-stump as well, right? What a beautiful day. What a beautiful October day. It feels it looks and feels like October, doesn't it? You can almost smell October. <laughs> yep. It smells like shit. Now this is a solo farm. We're not doing we haven't uh, opened it up on a server or anything. We're just doing a we're doing a solo rags to riches. We're trying to make a billion dollars. Can it be done? Probably not. I have the attention span of of a flea. I think we can attach this thing on the back. If not, we might need to get an attachment thing on the front. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's cool. It's cooling down big time, eh? Oh, thank you. Thanks very much. Okay, perfect. This thing fits. I got more tea. Um, there is a take soil sample, unfold the soiling sampling unit. Oh. Look, okay, there's a, it's got like a radar. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Prepare to pro. Okay, now that it's unfolded, see, see this? We got like a circle around us. We we basically will need to take. Ah, uh, we might be able to do it in two. This is a really small field. Oh yeah, we can do this in two for sure. We want to. We want to have the circle cover as much as we can. That looks pretty good. Okay, take the soil sample. Okay, sample taken. Just move up the field a little. Um, okay, and then we'll send uh, our soil samples for analysis. Soil samples are now sent to a laboratory for analysis. You will see the results on the soil types map soon. Great. Okay, that costs 300 bucks to get those analyzed. Perfect. And it looks like the results are in. And we now have a crop types, growth, soil composition, um, weed needs plowing, needs rolling, mulched, and stones. There's a couple of stones, maybe, hot spots, crop types. Oh, where's the one where you actually see the, uh, what it's, uh, made of, what it, what, what it's composed of? Is that in this view or is it somewhere else? This one here. Oh, yeah, it's this one. Our environmental score. So it looks like we've got a bit of loam and silty clay. We got we we basically have a, an entire field of silty clay, which maybe is not the best. But what can you do, right? I don't know if uh, I don't know if silty clay 
prevents us from planting certain things or, or what the deal is? Any knowers? It's just not great soil. Okay. Loam is, is pretty good though, right? Which means that if there's loam here, then likely there's some more loam down here, right? If it follows this pattern, it looks like the, the pattern is probably like a, a left to right sort of thing. You're a grower, not a knower? Okay, well... There we go. We know what we've got anyway. Um, we can send this thing back now. We don't need it anymore. Uh, whoops, wrong button. We're not going to need it for a little while either, right? Okay, I need to I need to take these stumps out of here. So we might need to grab a tool. Um winter equipment? No. We need telehandlers, forestry equipment. These are all log transporters. This machinery grinds down tree stumps. Okay, we need 90 horsepower. Luckily, oh my god, man. Okay, we're going to have to lease this thing. Jesus. I guess there's quite a few stumps that we could grind down, right? 1,377 bucks. Can you actually do it with a chainsaw? I don't think you can, right? There's a cheaper one for the bobcats. Chainsaw. You can use a chainsaw to cut down trees. Okay. It doesn't say anything about stumping levelers front loaders mowers rollers rollers I don't know where the uh, I don't I thought there was a cheaper one too but maybe not it's a mulcher this is a a, a portable chipper Remove tree stumps and bushes. This one is possibly a little bit cheaper, but it's still quite expensive. And this is just a transporter. Chainsaw is a thousand bucks. Oh, there's a smaller one in a different category. I think that's probably the one I'm thinking of. What uh, what category is it in, though? Miscellaneous? No. Crop protection. Forestry machines. These are all super expensive. It's not in here. a snow plow and a salt spreader winter equipment what the hell oh yeah this is a stump grinder but this needs to be attached to um wait can this go on the back of the uh on the back of a tractor or does it actually need the uh, telehandler as well
You can grind down stumps with a chainsaw. All right, should I just buy a chainsaw then? It's probably the cheapest. Look, I, I, you can get a free chainsaw from Start From Zero, but we've been using the, well, the handsaw. Maybe we can actually use the handsaw. Let me try it. <laughs> pH value bad. This is, this is loam and this is silty clay. pH value on this is bad too. So we'll have to try to work on getting the pH value up. Yeah, if you just saw like crazy, it would probably work, right? No, I don't think you can. All right. Should we get should we get a free chainsaw for start from zero or should we actually buy one? Maybe we should buy one. The handsaw has been good, but I feel like it's too cheaty to take a, a free one. When we we should buy one, or do you think we we deserve to take uh, to get a free one? Get a free. Two hundred for a handsaw is robbery. Okay, fine. I'll purchase this one. Purchase. Okay, let's see if this actually works. It is not grinding up the stumps, by the way. Right. You need a mod for it to work on stumps. Okay, who's the guesser? Who who actually hit me with an at saying confirm that it works when you needed a mod? Who was it? You need the lumberjack mod for it. Apparently, which we should have, we should have gotten, but we did not. It was Lady Vampire Tanya. What the hell? <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger when Google told me a lie. Okay, you're in luck. All is forgiven because I found some spare wood here that I forgot to take. Now who's got egg on their face? I might just get the uh, the big one because there's a, there's quite a few stumps to get rid of here, right? It's like a thousand bucks, but it's probably worth it, right? Just to get rid of some of these. Just have to... Uh, Work extra hard and cut, chop down more trees. We're going to need to save up so that we can get some lime and stuff for the field too, right? All right. So forestry equipment. Um, maybe this one. This one can uh, be used to remove tree stumps and bushes and it's a bit cheaper. Should we just use this one? It's cheaper. I'm doing it. It's for 150 horsepower? Oh shit, I didn't check. Okay, that's my bad if that's the case. We might still be able to do it though. It might let us get away with it, you know? We'll just try, and if not, just have to cut down some more trees.
Let's go. Yeah, this is not a millionaire's home. This is uh, this is just a store. It's nothing to do with us, except this is where we sell all of our stuff. But it's a bit like Hunger Games out here. You know, there's like a there's like a base where they observe you from, and but otherwise you're just out here in the wilderness, and they're just keeping tabs on you. Yeah, good thing we got the free chainsaw. I almost spent a thousand bucks on a chainsaw. They do. They pay me for grass. Not much, though. Not much. Yeah, we got a tractor. Look, we got a field as well. We've been busy. I'm gonna mulch up this tree stump. Yeah, this thing weighs a ton. I haven't even turned this thing on yet. Okay, well, good news. We got rid of the stumps. Good news. We gotta get rid of some of these bad boys now too. Gotta make the most of this this machine that we've leased for a minute. I didn't realize I cut down so many trees. Holy crap, look at this. the big stumps that we got to get rid of the most, right? They're so annoying. I pressed every button there. I don't even think you've got to lower it. I think you can just run it over top of it without lowering it. It's fine. See? I think that's it for stumps. Seems about right. I cleaned up my mess. Feels good. Feels good. Okay. Let's return this thing. We don't want to pay any more money than we need to for it. Uh, the tractor... Do we need to keep the tractor for now? Yeah, we'll probably need the tractor if uh, we're going to uh, 
lime this field, right? Which we're going to have to. Oh, look, you can see. Needs, needs plowing. It's plowed. Soil types, pH. So the pH on this... Oh, it's the it's nitrogen that's letting it down, right? That's what we need the lime for. It's quite low. Okay. So what do we need for this? We need a um It's not it's not fertilizer, right? It's a uh or is it? It's one of these. Fertilizer spreaders improve the harvest of your fields. It's this icon here, right? This one doesn't do it. This one does. And so does this one. So it's this one 45k fucking hell. 2,295. And then we need to buy some lime for it as well. It could hold 9,000 liters, this thing. Oh, pH is lime and nitrogen is fertilizer? Oh, so it don't so I don't need lime? I, it just needs to be fertilized? Is that um Well, I suppose we could get it um we could get it higher though, right? Do we want to try to make it blue? Do you want to try to get it to eight? It's quite expensive. Maybe just maybe just fertilize. Soil information yield. Nothing. Is blue good? I don't know. It's it's like the highest one. Maybe it's fine how it is. And then for nitrogen, we just need some fertilizer. You want green. All right, okay. So you want it like at, at about 650? Okay. And then for nitrogen, nitrogen we want it green and pH we want green as well. Depends on the soil type. Mostly silty clay, I think, this field. And then how much how much fertilizer do we want to have for um a um should i fertilize it now or should i fertilize it just before we uh before we sow it either is fine so what as long, no matter when you fertilize it, it's just ready for the next, the next time. With precision farming, the best time to fertilize it is when it starts growing leaves. Oh, I need to check something else actually. Um, options. What's the where? What's where's the option field info money unit? Oh, let's go pounds. Where's the uh? Where's the option for damaging fields? 
We probably need to take that off, right? Because it's going to be so annoying. Is that a thing anymore? I don't see it. Oh, it's in this one. Economic difficulty, hard, time scale, five times. Autosave interval, traffic on, seasonal growth, yeah, days per month, one. Fixed visual set, whether a specific one should always be visible, turn off for dynamic visuals. Snow on, crop destruction on. Periodic plowing required, field stone, weeds, dirt. Whether or not vehicles destroy crops when you drive over them. Should we just take that off? Set days per month to 30 for max realism? No, no, no. Okay, we'll turn this off. And how many days per month? How many days do we want per month? What's like the what's like the best to use? Three. Three days per month. Okay. Okay, good. Um, right. We need some more, um, should we hang on to the tractor? It's, it's October now, and we will still have two more days of October. What are we doing in October? Maybe we could change this to one for now, because we're waiting to sow now, right? Or is there anything that we could sow now in October? Can anything be planted in October? It looks like we could plant, uh, wheat... We could plant some wheat and then harvest it in July, but then we would miss our uh, canola window, right? Because the, the field would be full of wheat instead. Wheat or barley can be planted this time of year. If we wanted to plant something. This is the last thing that can be planted, apart from grass, which will just go on its own. We can plant cotton in February, but I don't want to do cotton. Canola. Canola, we have to plant, we would have had to plant last month or the month before August. And then for March, if we're waiting till March, Oh, I wanted to do canola. Oh, no, it was soybeans, right? Soybeans we wanted to do in April. I mean, maybe we could get some wheat planted, let it grow. The small field could be wheat, and then we could just make another field in the meantime. Because we still have tons of space. I mean, I could just get another big field in here, maybe another one in here, and then we could do soybeans. Wheat, barley. So it's probably wheat's probably better, and we need to sell that in January for the highest price. Barley, same. You get more from wheat than soybeans. Oh, is it because it's a volume thing, right? You get more from wheat because you get tons of wheat and the price works out to be better. So should we just go wheat then? Oh yeah, higher yield and you get straw as well. That's right, yeah. <coughs> straw, you could bale it, bale it up, right? Lumbering will do through the winter, but um, wheat, we can plant it right now and it'll grow through the winter. But... It'll grow all spring and most of the summer, too. <laughs> we can harvest it in, like, August or whatever. But we could just do lumbering and uh, get another field prepared in that time, too, right? Okay, maybe we'll go wheat then. So we need um, we need uh, a, 
um, a cedar, right? Something that we could actually pull? I don't think there is anything. 210, 270, 180, 300. Looks like 125 is the lowest. Um, Forge Harvester. It's definitely Cedar, right? Or Planter? Cedar for wheat, right? Yeah, wheat. This is a pretty cheap planter, but I don't think it can do wheat. Uh, this one can't either. No, none of these can actually. Okay, none of the planters can. The manual planter can't even do wheat. It can do corn, sunflower, soybeans, um, turnips. I don't know what the fuck that is. And cotton. And needs seeds. Roller doesn't do. What does a what does a roller even do? With a roller you can improve the upper soil layer quality of your fields. We might need to do some of this stuff. Mower, bale wrappers. We don't need bale stuff for now. So it looks like we need to get What is this? The little bag with a with a leaf on it. What is that? Not seeds. Solid fertilizer. Oh, solid fertilizer. Yeah, farmer. It's true. Farmers do need a lot of stuff. It's wild, isn't it? Um. All right. So I think we're gonna have to possibly cut down some more trees and get. A slightly better tractor. It looks like we could seed with this, but it needs 125 horsepower. We can do it with the one that we've got, but it'll be slow. It'll be really slow. So maybe we should grab um, this one with... A way it helps to keep a tractor's wheels on the ground and improves its balance. Check harrows and cultivators. Oh, yeah, that's right. Harrows and cultivators. Cultivators. Because some of them can seed as well. Okay, these cannot. How do you know which ones can? I'm just looking for the icons here, but they're not there. Oh, at the top it says. Shallow cultivator is used for shallow cultivation or seed bed creation. These are all shallow. So none of these can. None of these can. Re ah, no, I'm reading the top right. None, none, none of these can seed. Harrows or cultivators. I seem to remember something like uh, about this the last time we played, but you can use these instead of a plow subsoilers, right? 
Spaders, I'm not sure. Cedars. Okay, so we'll go with this one. This Nordston HK25. 125 horsepower. And we'll need something that can use it. In small tractors, it'll be this. The Valtra A-Series, 105 to 135. This guy, the, the New Holland Agriculture T6 Series starts at 125. Uh, we don't have enough to lease it, so we'd have to save up. One of the subsoilers could plant. Okay, which one? Oh, this one. I can't do uh, wheat, though. Yeah, it's just grass and canola, it looks like. Power harrows. Um, okay, well, we're going to need some money, uh, no matter what then, right? Because if we want to do... This one needs 165. We need horsepower for, for seeding, right? It looks like small tractors can just about cut it, but it'll be um, at least this guy. The New Holland Agriculture T6 series, 102,000 bucks. And I don't have enough money to lease it at the moment. So we'll have to cut down some more um, trees. Check the small fent. Where's the small fence? This one here. 115 horsepower. So we would need the... This is 150. So this is the favorite 515C. 93,000. Still a bit cheaper, I guess. Cheapest medium tractor, um, 97K, it looks like. What do you get for 97K? An, an MF3670, which does 170 horsepower. Holy crap. That's pretty wild. So we could get this guy. Okay, well we're gonna have to we're gonna return this guy no matter what, right? Because we don't need him anymore. He's not he's not gonna be able to help us do any seeding. This guy will hang on to because we can cut down more trees. Get some money together so that we can hopefully seed before the end of October. For wheat, it would be nice, but we'll see. Get the chainsaw? Is it faster? I don't think it's any faster. The uh, noise is a lot more annoying though. It is a little bit faster. Oh, 
I'm sawing. I'm sawing so much. Look, it went down there. I'm strapping them in. Ah. Okay. Um oh. No, you can't fit a whole other tree on here for sure. We can't. We tried. It's easier to just do it's quicker to do them one at a time. I know if it doesn't feel like it is, but it is. I know Penny would. I'm not Penny. I know my limitations. Oh my god. We've got some big machines that we need to rent out. Uh, we should probably just rent out the tractor. Actually, you know what? If we're going to rent out a big tractor, let's save up enough to rent out that the medium tractor, and then let's get a bigger plow so we can make a bigger field, and we'll get the cedar as well. We'll do it all at the same time. Hopefully this month, but if not, what can you do, right? <laughs> I don't want that bit. I don't like that.
Oh, I can't pick this up. There we go. I do have protective eyewear. Thank you so much for asking. I definitely do. So you're going to buy this? You won't regret it. It's so good, honestly. You'll love you'll love just being in the great outdoors, you know? You your ride your cool cutting tool. too heavy. I think the other one might be too heavy too. Yeah, it is. It's free on Xbox Game Pass on PC? Is it? Oh, there you go. You don't even need to buy it if you've got Game Pass, uh, Giso. It's on, it's on Game Pass. This is quite a big one. 25.5 meters. Yeah, this is a huge one. 1 1.6 tons. Your grandpa used to cut trees like this? Nice.
I don't think that strap slows down. We'll see. Do I have a permit to cut down this tree? No, I own this land in no man's land. This is my land. I bought the land, so I also bought all the trees. I don't need a permit. Yes. Straps, what happened? I don't think you can get the straps too far to the at the back here. We could try though. No, I don't think you can. Here, let me try. Okay, maybe a bit better. Okay. Perfect. Oh, man. One day we'll get a bigger trailer, yeah. One day.
Yeah, this can be played multiplayer, yeah. You need to have a permit, though. A multiplayer to cut down trees and stuff. How's the journey coming along? Pretty good, we got a plan. We've been hard at work. The weather's not great, it's the fall. So we're just gonna probably uh, prepare some fields and stuff for sowing. Um, we're gonna try to do wheat before the end of October if possible. Gotta get some money in though so that we can get a tractor and a cedar. Yeah, it's gone, it's gone good. It's gone good. Considering how we started, it's not so bad. <laughs> we did fully start with a shovel <laughs> and a weed whacker as well. We've, we've leased a couple of heavy machines to do a couple of heavy jobs. It's worked out pretty good. Don't want them too heavy. Got to be able to pick them up. Great. Well, this tree wasn't that big, actually. It was about as big as the other one. 1.2 tons.
All right, we could strap that in. Oh, this bit's too big. Been watching your Skyrim VODs from five years ago and wanted to drop in and say hello and thanks. Hey. Love you, Sipsy. Nick, the goat boy, thank you so much for the 25. I appreciate it. Thank you. And thanks for watching the uh, Skyrim VODs, too. Thank you so much. Goat boy. We're off. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Load. I feel like we're getting a little bit better at, uh, at loading these bad boys up. A little bit. Okay, we got 9,000 bucks. Can we get... Um, was it this guy, right? 170? Okay. So we can lease this for 4,947. And the cedar that we want is 125. We could get this one actually, 165, since we'd have 170, right? And this has, uh, it's got like the same, uh, it's, it's the same width, right? Three meters. This just has a bigger capacity. We don't need a huge capacity. It's only a small field, right? It's only a small one. And this one is 1,708. And then we'd need seed as well. So maybe another load. couple more trees. No, no, I, I, um, I gave back the lawnmower because we, we made a field instead of the grass. The grass was a, a nightmare. I mean, it's not, I don't think it's worth it at all. At such low yields. I could be wrong, but... dangerous at all. Ah. <laughs> Yay. 
Yes. Oh, am I still holding? I was for a sec. She's rolling. This will be too heavy, yeah, it's too heavy. I'll try loading them this way at this time. Maybe it'll work better with the straps. I don't know if we can fit more on this way. Maybe. Is that the last?
Run, run. so fast. Okay, let's take this thing back to the tent and we'll grab that uh <laughs> we'll grab that tractor. The plow. The plow are bigger field too. If I have time to seed this, maybe fertilize it at some point, I don't know. So this one, right? For the 170 horsepowers? With this cedar? And we need um, a big bag of seeds. got about 400 liters of seeds left in that bag. Eight hundred bucks for the seeds. We got the we got the wipers on, no problem. We got all my controls in here, yeah, great. I don't know if you can see it in the rain. I think you probably can. I don't think you can harvest in the rain. Let me just double check to make sure that we can actually plant wheat in October. Yes, we can. Okay, and then we're going to be harvesting in July and then selling probably later in the year after that, right? Wheat, open the cover, turn on the cedar. Wait, is this doing anything? Do I gotta, do I gotta lower it? Oh, I gotta lower it, right? I'm so stupid. I didn't see the option to lower. <laughs> oh, you only get the option after you turn it on. Stop raining.
Mom, I'm doing it. Lewis is having awkward interactions with the Twitch CEO? What the hell? Why was I not told about this? Very awkward. <laughs> nice. Maybe I need to do like uh, straight lines, right? Otherwise, it doesn't look uh, it doesn't look legitimate. Uh, hang on, I'll do it. How would the AI do it? Oh, do I need to get these rocks out of here? Or can we leave them in? Too late for rock removal now? Will it, uh, will my yields not be so good? now that I haven't removed all the rocks. That's how the AI would do it, right? He would like lift it and do that stupid turn every time. But then you get like this nice straight up and down kind of thing. I'm uh, <laughs> stuck in a tree. <laughs> I hate that when I press, I have to press forward like three times for it to go forward. Is it? And same with back. Like it doesn't just like, it doesn't just reverse straight away. You have to like press it twice. It's like, it's like gear changing or something. That was weird.
Maybe I do it like this so I don't have to do the dumb turn every time. a better tractor I don't have any money it's a miracle we have this one <laughs> I need to buy a radio. What's the music in this game? Is it DLC free or or no? There's different radio stations, aren't there? There's a setting called stop and go. Oh, okay, I'll take a look. I need to get rid of that, it's so annoying. Well, it's a small field, but we use quite a bit of um, Quite a bit of seed. A fair amount. I needed to use high seed with my soil type? Oh. There's a difference? Does that mean that the harvest will be ruined? Maybe it'll still grow, but we just won't get like a decent yield.
Okay. Looking good. Needs rolling. Do we actually need to roll? Maybe. Wheat. Wheat. It's growing. So we need to roll. We need a roller. A roll. In a sec, I can. Yeah, I'll come in in a minute, okay? Yeah, I'll come in in like two minutes. Um, needs rolling? <laughs> no, mom, five more minutes. Um, what do we need for rolling? A roller. A roller that needs, ah, we can do it with this. 160 horsepower and we have 170, right? With a roller, you can improve the upper soil layer quality of your fields. Okay, so you would you roll after you seed, or should it have been done before? A 2.5% yield increase? Is, is it worth it to get 2.5%? But you do do it after it's seeded. Man, it's interesting, all this stuff, eh? Look at this mega roll 2430. Look at th this roller extends out to 12.3 meters. That's huge. We could, do <laughs> we could do the whole field in one pass. You roll right after seeding, but it's not worth it to roll in that small of a field. Okay. So we can skip rolling. and uh, But we'll need to fertilize, right? We will need to fertilize at some point. We could just use this thing, the Amazon ZATS 3200, 42 meters. Fuck, that's huge. This one does 42 meters as well. So this thing is this thing is like one. <laughs> we could just go up the field once. Fertilize and weed removal. Okay, so for fertilizer, we get that. And for weed, weeders, this thing, six meters. We can just lease this thing. It's not going to be expensive. 9,500. Okay, what was that setting? Stop stop go it's in this stop and go braking keep the brake button held to brake and automatically start reversing once you've come to a standstill wait it's off already so i need to put it on okay all right i'll put it on and what was the other thing? Oh, the radio. Radio. Radio, radio, radio. Radio range, vehicle only. Radio on. Okay, let's put vehicle only. And where's the DMCA stuff? Or is there not one? Does e work? F I think maybe I 
my radio volume is off. Oh, that's so loud. How do I change uh, radio stations? Is this just an in-game one? This song? This one's fine? Okay, I'm unloading the cedar and I'm gonna send it back. We don't need it right now, right? We won't need it for a little while. I don't want to pay for this thing unnecessarily. Okay, I think we'll hang on to the tractor because we are going to need the tractor and we'll use it for a bunch of other things, right? And we'll use this little thing too. Okay, we got bad pH and bad nitrogen, but we're going to fertilize, right? We're going to fertilize. The pH is bad as well. Maybe we could maybe we could lime it. It's too late now. Silty clay and a bit of loam. Yield potential 125% and only 89 for the rest of it. A lovely loam. It's not a bad looking field, I know. It's my first field. We're good. It's a little rough around the edges, but it's fine for now. We live in a tent. We live in a tent, and there's still quite a bit of time left on this, I think. Fermenting silage 100%. Oh, I'm wrong about this. October? So we could actually take this off and sell it, but silage we want to sell when? When is the time? When is the best time to sell some silage? In January, apparently. 189 bucks. Sometimes it's... You're right. Sometimes a tent is all that you need. And sometimes... Sometimes you just want to be alone in your tent. I think with a manual planter we can get rid of. Probably the wheelbarrow we can get rid of as well. Maybe we can just keep this can for now. I don't know. We did good today. Man, we did really good. Okay. I'll save. I've saved. Um, and I'm quitting. Because I gotta go. I gotta go and see what my kids want. I don't know why they came out here uh, asking me to do something when I was going in in two minutes. But now I will go in and see what they want me to do. Um, listen, um, we started with, uh, with nothing. Well, we started with a couple of uh, of little tiny things, and we've now worked our way up to a field that is seeded, and we have to fertilize it and maybe do a bit more lumbering and stuff. But we'll have to do that on Monday. I got a busy weekend. I'm not going to be here, I don't think. I'll try to be. If I can, I will. If not, I'll be back on uh, Monday. First thing Monday morning, we're doing um, Played Up on the Jingle Jam. It's like 11 o'clock, I think. And then when we're done... We can do some more farming. Yes? Okay. Go watch the Jingle Jam. I think Lewis is talking to the Twitch CEO, and he's probably doing some other stuff as well with Simon. Go go watch and check out the bundle and all that good stuff. And uh, have a good weekend, and I will see you um, next week. Yes? All right, chat. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for the subs, resubs, donations. I appreciate all the support. Uh, have a good one. LOL, lots of love. I'll see you later. Peace. Bye now. Bye.